Hey there, future video editing maestros. Welcome to this transformative CapCut video editing tutorial for complete beginners. Today, we would be your guide on a journey from novice to pro editor. And the best part, it's all 100% free. Stick with us. Use the timestamps you will find down in the description to your advantage for targeted learning. By the end of this course, you'll wield CapCut on your PC like a pro, crafting stunning videos effortlessly. Ready to level up your editing game? Let's dive in together and unlock your full editing potential. We are pleased to introduce our experienced instructor, David, who will be leading the upcoming sessions. With his extensive expertise, David will provide comprehensive guidance in a step-by-step -step format throughout the lectures. So sit back, relax, and have fun while you learn all that you need to become a pro using CapCut PC today. Hello and welcome David here. Welcome to the very first video in this course. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download CapCut PC because obviously that is what we are going to be starting with. So there are two ways you can download CapCut for PC and this way is one, you can do the online installation and you can do the offline. So, okay. So what I'll do is you can go to Google for instance and you can put CapCut PC and then it's you'll find the very first link if you click on it it's capcut.com slash two slash desktop video editor so I'm going to be putting it on this video for you to see you can go over and just pause it and then you can hit the download button it's, you can download it for free yes it's just some features that are paid and I'll be showing you how to do that so you can see it's quite easy it's not complicated at all this is how it works i've already downloaded it as you can see this is it here so i don't need to download it again but that's how it works once you hit the download button it's going to download now and then you ensure you have internet connection obviously so that you can get the faster speed and faster download once you've downloaded it you are good to go that is the first way the second way you can download this is to do the offline download which does not require internet after you've downloaded so you can use this site is called cpack.co slash download forward slash capcut.html so with this one it's still the same capcut but the offline version which once you've downloaded you don't need to have internet to install it this is about 500 and something mb if i'm right we'll just check that down below to confirm yes as you can see it CapCut offline setup 64 bit remember you want to have 64 bit or 82 you do 13 32 is going to give you a little problem because once you install CapCut, it's going to tell you testing interface and the rest it's just about 553 mb once you hit download it's going to download i already have it downloaded so i don't want to do that again if i click on download it's going to give me that same process of the first one but like i see i already have the installer there so i don't need it again because i already have CapCut installed already as you can see this is CapCut already installed on my system so i don't need it so that is how to get CapCut downloaded i'm sure you're going to be downloading CapCut now CapCut for pc once you have that downloaded we can move on to the next lecture which is going to be how to import media videos pictures whatever you need to edit we're going to be showing you how to import it into CapCut pc so see you in the next lecture stay blessed hello welcome back welcome to the very third lecture in the series so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to import videos or images into CapCut and then in install into your timeline for editing so that's very easy when i say install i just mean insert if you get confused so the process is easy as you can see by now you would have downloaded CapCut pc and you've had it open like this so the first thing you want to do is to cl click on create a project so it's going to go out reopen and it's going to generate the interface as you can see and then you want to click on import very important so let's hit on import 
and then you have this frame it says video if your videos are not under your video folder you can always go to your downloads depending on where your videos are so for me i can decide to click multiple images or videos to just import into CapCut before I then import it into my timeline which is down here so I'm just going to hit this very first one and then I'm going to press my control key button move my cursor downwards All right and then add okay I'll just move my cursor downward and add some other images maybe I want to bring in this cute looking dog I'm going to press my control key if your mark is going to be command press on your command key and your left mouse click button just to highlight this too then i'll just find one more video let's say we want to use this video press my control key again and i'm going to hit that up so now when i have that open i can then click on open and we'll get straight right to it so you see we have three elements into CapCut ready ready for us to use there are two ways again you can import it into your timeline here one you can just drag it like so and you have it in your timeline like that so because i selected the three i have the three all selected together all right so if i do backspace again you can just click on one if you want just this one imported then you drag on it as you saw there was a blue bar so you just have that in your timeline already all right that is the first way to do it the other way you can do it is to click on this plus icon you see here all right you can just click on this plus icon and automatically add to the timeline same thing you can do with video this is a video you can either drag it like so or you can click on the plus sign all right like so so any which way you do it, it's going to import it to your timeline. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to cut videos and images, which is very important. That is like the basic, basic of video editing. So I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. I hope this was helpful. Welcome back to lecture four. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to cut videos, audios, and also how to group them. Okay, so this is very important. It's just like the basic. We have not gotten into it fully. We are still warming up for the main form part of this crash course. So how do you cut? Okay, for instance, you want this video. We have this video in the timeline. We have this video and maybe we'll just want to cut it somewhere around here ensure you are clicking on this video you have this click then you have this white border around your video and then you can do either ctrl b to cut it as you can see we can now move this one out because we've cut it up already okay you can also do that for pictures images as you can see ensure you click on it you have the white border you do your control b that's one way of cutting the other way of cutting is okay we have highlighted is you can right click and hit cut okay you can cut it here that which takes it out you can do control z to bring it back if you made a mistake to undo you can do control z you can also use your control b your backspace to delete and all so that's just basically how it works then the other thing i would like to show you is how to group because there are sometimes you want to you know group pictures and videos for instance you want these two to be like this okay you want these two to be like this so you just want to group these two this text at the top Okay, let me rescale it down. I'm going to show you how to do that in the future. But we just want to rescale down this image. As you can see, so we'll scale it up like this. This is how to scale. So let's just assume we want it to the side here. We don't want it to disturb the lady dancing. We can have it here. So now we can click on this. Press your 
control key button your command key if you're on mac and click on this and then you right click and you click on group okay you can group it's control g as you can see it to group so you just group them right so now you have compound a so as you see if you try to move these two it's going to move together as you can see because you've grouped them together okay so now you can carry them and put them on top like this they are both grouped together if you want to ungroup them you click on them okay as you can see if you click on one now it tends to get the two together so you right click again and then you ungroup which is Control shift g or command shift g to ungroup so once you ungroup it now you can move different elements separately once you've done that as you can see you can move different elements separately it's that easy not complicated at all we're going to move to lecture 5 where i'm going to show you how to adjust audio which is very important in every video editor's toolkit so see you on that one stay blessed welcome back so in lecture 5 i'm going to show you how to adjust volume it's very important to be able to adjust your volume in every editing you do because there are some parts in your video you want to be relatively silent and some part you want higher volumes for instance i'm talking with my mic right about now when i'm editing it i might want to increase one part or reduce one part so i'm going to be showing you a very simple way to do it by just importing audio from the audio library just anyone i pick so i'm just going to pick this one and allow it to download okay so we have that i'm just going to import it all right add it to the timeline as you can see as you can see it's 100 percent as you can see it here so now i can do one or two things i can just bring it into this timeline and then hit the volume as you can see and reduce it i can make it a bit louder which is not ideal or i can reduce it totally and as you can see when i do that watch this bar reduce the bar is going to reduce so i can do that totally and it's going to reduce it and now if i play it so now you see it's reduced and you can do that for any clip you have it's not complicated at all trust me this course is going to be one of the sweetest you watch i'm going to make everything super easy to understand any step i will need to repeat i will have to repeat it so that you understand it better remember you can leave your comment and tell me how it's going so far so that i can keep providing quality for you guys in the next video i'm going to be showing you how to add background music from outside of CapCut. okay so let's go welcome back in this lecture i'm going to be showing you how to add background audio to your visuals to give it that professional feel this is something that is done by a lot of people and it just brings life into your video so to do that without wasting much of your time is to import the background music you want to use for instance i'm going to go to my videos and i'll go to my effect i already have this tutorial background music you might be hearing playing already in this video so i'm just going to hit on that and import it okay so i have it here i'm going to hit on the plus sign and now you see i have it just beneath here so i can drag it to the beginning depending on where you want it to start you might not want it to start from the beginning you want it to start from somewhere here but this is just me adding it in the timeline and now if i go ahead and play it's going to synchronize with this dancing lady who is very happy and ready to mingle so let's play it so you can see it that's one remember in the last video i showed you how to reduce the volume remember you might have a talking 
voiceover in the image and you don't want this audio to be this loud remember how i told you in the last lecture you reduce it by dragging down the volume and now if we play it again from about this distance you're gonna see it's more reduced and ready for us okay that was super easy and that's all about adding your background music to your video clip to get a professional look this was super fast i hope you enjoyed it let's move on to the next lecture where i'm going to show you how to remove noise from your video stay tuned and i'll see you in lecture seven hello and welcome to lecture seven in this crash course so in this very course i'm going to be showing you how to remove noise from video and audio like you can see on the timeline already i already have this cute video with this fine lady in it already and i observed there's a lot of noise in this video and i want to get it out so i'm just going to play a little part of this video for you to see just before i apply the noise reduction effect on it using CapCut pc it's an ai feature which is really good and it works super well so let me play it for you so that you can see it for yourself guys it's december period everyone is out and i'm going to do something today Okay, so that is it and now it's time for us to reduce noise remember you don't want to overshoot it you don't want to overdo it you just want to do it minimally so that the noise is reduced remember i showed you how to add background music if you reduce the noise and you apply background music to this video it becomes professional here yeah? so let's add background music so we're going to go to audio okay you can do this for both your audio you can do it for video and all so let's just go and we'll scroll down to where we say noise reduce noise okay you just want to click on that button and once we click on that button it's going to go out and reduce noise and if we go over and play it again it's going to sound better than what it was already so let's try it and see what do you say Okay, so let's play from beginning. Guys, it's December period. As you can see, it's better. You can see it only keeps it only keeps the voice in the video. Not so much. Yes, not so much. You can actually do more. Right? You can actually do more. You can actually go over, go down, scroll down to enhance voice. Okay, once you enhance the voice, it reduces the noise. As you can see, it's processing 20%. Once that is done, it will reduce and enhance our voice and it will sound better. Better. Trust me, it's going to sound far, far better than what is sounding right now. And you're going to notice the difference from the two. Okay, remember I played it at the beginning for you how it sounded. I'm going to go over once it's done processing. I'm going to go over and play it from the beginning again so that you can listen for yourself and see if it works or if it's something you want to try out. I'm just showing you easy feature you can use on CapCut without going out of CapCut. Okay. Guys, it's December period. Everyone is out. And I'm going to do something today. I'm going to go out and um, meet people and make their Christmas good. So I don't know who I'm going to. See. I don't know who I'm going to meet today. I don't know. I really don't know who I'm going to meet today. But I'll be glad to help them. I'll be so so glad. So you can see, yes, there are still other voices in the background, but then her voice is more enhanced now and she sounds better. I hope you enjoyed that lecture. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to auto caption. So let's go. Let's go make that lecture worthwhile. See you and thanks for watching this one. Stay blessed. Welcome.
welcome back in lecture 8 i'm going to show you how to add auto caption in CapCut pc and also make it stylish yes we're going to go straight right on to it and i'm going to be using the video from the last lecture and you're going to love it trust me so to do this all we need to do is get the video into the timeline and then we'll go to text once we click on text it shows auto caption we want to click on it our video is in english so we want to select english from the drop down and then we hit create if you had other um, current caption you did in CapCut, i'm sure you can remove that and you hit create it's going to go out and it's going to create the caption for us yes this is ai processed and you need to be connected to the internet to make this work effectively but at the same time you also need to go cross check on each caption to ensure what you said in the video is actually what is written out this is very important but instead of taking and just creating cap caption from scratch you're going to be able to do this and just do minimal corrections and it should work well as you can see it's quite fast it's just about 70 percent already and we have the caption and if we play this video and if you notice before we play the video as soon as the caption is created you have this new box appear okay and always make sure, ensure you click on apply to all you don't just want to change one particular caption so let's play it and see how it looks then we are going to go over to making it stylish as you always see on youtube shorts instagram reels and the rest let's just make it let's play it and see guys it's december period everyone is out and i'm going to do something today okay so that is it that is the first step so let's get back to the beginning and let's make it stylish because obviously we can't really see it yes so let's go back to basic okay font size let's increase that a bit okay we don't want to overdo it really don't want to overdo it at all okay this should work right let's get it to about 15 and then we can come back to templates i'm going to show you how to do stylish different ways of doing it i'm knitting it and all so let's just use this one so we're just going to hit the download button remember with cam with canva pc you need to be connected to the internet because most of its elements and structure is based on the internet but that is for a good reason because you get a lot of updates and a lot of effects and a lot of all these captions you can work with so it's super cool not complicated okay so we have it so if we play it again let's play it and you see Guys, how it's it's December period. everyone is out and i'm going to do something today i'm going to go out and um meet okay sorry about that so i just wanted to show you I just wanted to show you the captions the way it looks so you can go over and do a lot of different things for instance now we can go over to amnate and just add extra effects to it okay the way you want it to come in the way you want it to go out so that's why you have the in out effect and all so you can just find one very cool one like you see this one they appear in different ways okay this one looks cool but it's called a throw out effect so we can do that and put that on all the captions and you're going to see how animated is going to be now from now on okay so let's just play it let's play from here and just people and make their christmas good okay 
So I don't know who I'm going to see. I don't know who I'm going to For me, I don't really like that. So let's see if we can find one. This is one I really like. I've always enjoyed using this particular one. Okay, it's quite fun. So let's play it. Okay, so if we play it again. They just play from the beginning. Guys, it's December period. Everyone is out. And I'm going to do something today. I'm going to go out and um, meet people and make them. Okay, so you see, it's easy, super easy. You can use a lot of. You can use a lot of different formats, okay, to make it work. A lot, there are a lot of them you can use, and you can also animate things, all right? You can change colors, you can make it glow. It's quite, it's quite interesting. You can actually do a lot of things. You can change the fonts actually. If you don't want this font, you can actually change the font to a different font as you can see this energy is bigger bolder more interesting to use all right it's, it's, it's yes you can see the way it is if we play it now all right if we just play it so you see we have the text guys it's december period everyone is out and i'm going to do something today so you can see how easy that is you can as well just go over and add some other settings you have blend stabilize okay just we talk for the text though for the text right and you can also edit different texts you can go to basics like i said as you can see this is it if you go to basic and you want to edit particular text maybe it's not what you said in the video you can do it from there and just change things around you can increase the font i showed you how to do that and you can just do a lot of things it's quite easy to work with you you have a lot of things. you can add glow to it you can add shadows you can have curve there are super easy things you can do to it to make it more fanciful just play around with it and you see how easy it is to work with it's not complicated at all and you're gonna love every process of it you know just test different caption style check different colors check different pop in and pop out animations check different templates you know just get fancy with it and you can get your own unique style doing caption auto caption in CapCut pc i hope you enjoyed this video let's get straight right to vi video number nine and the lecture is going to be how to add transition in video okay so let's go let's make that video possible Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the crash course on CapCut PC for beginners. Well, let's get into this next video and I'm going to be showing you how to add transitions into videos. Transitions are one very essential tool that gives your video that pop, that professionalism and we can always add it to a video. So what I'm going to do, this video we worked on the last time, I'm just going to split some areas and then i'll add okay i'll add um, cap, um transitions to it sorry i'll just do that for you guys to see so let's do ctrl b or command b if you're on mac to ensure you split your scene okay so let's do that ctrl b I'll just do that for some scene. You can also do right click and just do split scene. Okay, that's another one I'll show you later on in the video. It's gonna split all these scenes for us. It's gonna split all these scenes for us. Okay, let me just cancel that and just so that I don't waste your time. I'll make a full video on that later on in the course. So let's assume we already have these three 
part in our videos okay we already have these three parts and we want to add transitions to it we can come over to the transition tab which is here and you have a lot of transitions you can choose from quite a lot quite a lot to be honest but i love the camera ones the more this sh shakes and all so i'll just add this one let me move over to this part i'll just download this particular transition and just add it okay so if i pick on it if i pick on that and i add it over here okay so we have the transition there now all right i can also pick a different transition pick another one and just add that to this part and then let me just pick this smoke white smoke effect all right so just pick this one and then i can just add it to this part of the video now if we go ahead and play it this is what you get okay so that's it sorry if my system is lagging it's kind of hot here very hot to be honest and i'm just trying to work with this all right so you can see let's just see how it plays and i'm going to do something today i'm going to go out and um meet people and make their christmas good so i don't know who i'm going to see. i don't know who i'm going to meet today i don't know i really don't know who i'm going to meet today but i'll be glad to help them i'll be so so glad to help them come along with me okay so you see that's just one transition you can do it that way it's fun there are other ways you can do transitions and i'm going to show you a very professional it is just the basic way of doing transitions i'm going to show you in the very next lecture how to do transition using keyframe it's going to be effective you're going to love it trust me and you're going to be shocked how good it's going to be looking so let's go over and let me show you how to use keyframe to do transition on lecture 10 so see you on lecture 10 where i use keyframe for transition you're gonna love that video and watch to the end so welcome back so i'm going to be showing you how to use keyframes to our transition professionally it's better to me and if you just want to scroll from different angles for instance you want your transitions to come from here okay you can actually do that so i don't i don't want to waste your time i just want to go straight right to it yeah you people want just to learn to do these things first at the same time i want to ensure i cover every bit of it not making it a rush course but a crash course that way you can go over and watch over and over again and that's why i made a timestamp in this full course so let's bring in the first footage this is the first footage we have here and this is the first one we are going to work with all right so now that we have that in it this is how it looks basic not complicated we're going to bring in the second one which is this and i'm going to take that up and move it a bit like so okay and i'm going to show you what is going to happen soon the magic of all this put together okay so this will be the third one okay i'm gonna take that up all right so we have it like that once again i'll move it to this end and now this is what we're gonna do we started with this first video but they want to bring this in to the frame all right 
what are we going to do we're just going to move to this end and then we want to have a what we call a position keyframe as you can see position keyframe but before then we want to take this video completely out of the scene okay let's just put it back there and see so it says zero right so we want to take it completely out completely out of the scene like that okay completely out and that's where we'll put our first keyframe good and then we are going to reduce this to about the position keyframe now we're just going to reduce it to about 2000 by 2000 okay so now let's have it like that so we are just going to move and now just watch just watch what, what's going to happen we have the first keyframe here now watch what is going to happen as i scroll this to somewhere here all right and move this in it's going to create another keyframe as you can see it has created one here and then i'll move it again to the end and it's going to create another keyframe here right it's going to create another keyframe for us to totally let me get this image this one does not need to start until it is fully in the frame right so we are working with this and we are just going to move it completely into the frame like that so now we have those three and then for this particular one you start creating the keyframe also for it this is the starting point right so we are going to move it we're going to make it come from down sorry not this again but this now we're going to make it come from the down the lowest part of it like so so we'll create the first keyframe there it's not in the frame and now we put this at let's say 2000 okay sorry about that okay so we have that first keyframe then we'll try and bring it in like that i want the first keyframe to be there so now if i move this a bit like so and then move this keyframe up okay it creates the second keyframe as you can see it then i move it a bit again and then i move it completely up it creates the third keyframe so it's not like i want this one totally out of it i'm just showing you so that you see how it works okay so we have that we have the first one we have the second one and then if we go back and play all together this is what we are going to get you can also add a keyframe to give this a vibration i'm going to show you how to do that in a later video i'm going to show you how to add animations to pictures to make them move to give them life i'm going to show you how to do that but this one is just keyframing transition so let's play it and see how it looks you're going to be surprised how easy it falls in as you can see as you can see so you can see it's quite easy it's smooth not complicated at all it's not just it's not complicated it's super smooth if you want it faster you can just go over you know just drag you can drag keyframes a bit you can drag it out or make it closer the closer you make it the faster it will be so you can just 
left click and drag your mouse make it closer like that you can do same thing with this instead of making it far but if, when, if you make it far apart it becomes smoother but you can make it closer i'm just saying if you want to make it smoother CapCut is such a professional tool that gives you the edge trust me once you understand how to use it so i will, I will ask that you you know save this video for later to your watch list and just follow the chapters to every video you want to learn and just come back to it and keep watching i'm sure by the time you are done watching this whole video you'll be a pro in canva pc so let's play it again sorry did i say canva in cap cut pieces sorry so let's play it again and you see how it works you see it here you go so it's super easy not complicated just watch this video over and over again and you're going to understand how to use keyframes to do your transition i'm going to be showing you most four lectures just showing you how to use different kind of key framing for positioning for rotation for animation it's going to be interesting yes it's going to be in this course so ensure you are watching to the very end thanks for watching this particular one in our next video i'm going to show you how to add filters to videos and i hope you're going to be excited about that thanks for watching this particular one let's go on to the next video Stay blessed. Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, I'm going to be showing you how to add filters to video in CapCut PC. Filters are very useful. You can actually use them to create a very unique style for yourself. And it's going to make it stand out in a way. So you might your video might just be... In a certain color scheme and you want to just add filters to it to give it a different look it's super easy to do with CapCut PC thanks to its AI capabilities we can do that easily so for this one I'm gonna use this couple picture we see here sorry video so we're gonna be using this one sorry we have four in the timeline just because I brought them in together so we have four but we just need just one so i'm just gonna delete right and click on this and bring this in this is the one i want to use so now to put in filters we're going to be putting different filters on this so i would like to cut the video into different parts because i'll be putting four different filters just to show you how filters work and what you can do with it okay so i'm just going to do ctrl b right ctrl b I'll move again another control B you can actually click on S and just with S you have this orange line you can just hit on where you want to cut and hit it so it should cut okay it should cut but it's not working here I don't know why so I'll just do one more and do control B so now we have four we're gonna start with this very first one here okay and then we'll go to filters and we have a lot of options you have live you have scenery we have movies okay it's, it's totally up to you what you really want so if we go to movies for instance we have gta and the likes so i'll just pick one and just show you how it's going to look on this particular video and then i'll just try to pick one from every as you can see so we've added this fit filter okay it's not added yet it's just showing you how it's going to look so now if we put that on this first clip as you can see you see it gave it a different color scheme as you can see if we move over you see we are back to that first color scheme and then we'll try to add a different filter to this one for instance let's do live okay so we have live let's throw in this one or let's use this i'm just going to show you different filters so that you have an idea of how much and how many you can use in your video as you can see there's something you would have noticed in this particular one with your filters as you can see let's move to the third clip you can see the difference between this clip 
and it's very clear with the filter on it as you can see it's brightened it up a bit and gave it more life and if you look to your left we have what called intensity you can actually reduce the intensity if you don't want it to be much or increase it so that's just the second filter let's go to scenery and i'm just showing different kind of filters you can apply ocean eyes let's make let's use ocean eyes and see how ocean eyes is going to look and let's bring ocean eye into this image and you can see ocean eye is giving us a different feel to this video all right so this is ocean eye okay so you can see how ocean eye is looking different from this and different and this so let's go on one more and let's do ninth or retro retro is kind of good you know you have this los, los angeles kind of feeling miami feeling so let's do this miami one for instance and you see how interesting it's going to be looking just the way it is so it gives you that you know that sunny look to it and okay this is just one way of doing it more people some people just use it this way more like a color grading but trust me this is not color grading because color grading you need to balance a lot of things i'm just showing you four different filters and how ai made this possible and you can again reduce your opacity or intensity and you can see how it's looking i hope this was interesting you can also do it for food if you are if you if you're into food photography for instance you can actually do it for food it's a lot it's a lot trust me and they are very interesting to do i hope this filter tutorial was very helpful in the next one we are going to go into effects how to use effect in CapCut pc desktop app so make sure you stick around let's get into the next lecture stay safe welcome back in the last class i showed you how to add filters to video in this one i'm going to be showing you how to add effects to videos in CapCut pc I don't want to waste your time like i don't want this course to be super long but then i want it to be comprehensive en enough that you can go out there and create your own videos and your own edit from start to finish a very professional way and people will appraise you clap for you and tell you you are a pro so yes for this one we are going to be doing effects so i'm going to go back to the beginning and using this first clip again we'll go to effects and this is where the magic happen in this one we have a lot of effects trust me you have a lot you have shaking you have stars you have nightclub it's it's quite amazing to know that there are a lot of effects you can actually use here for instance if you want like a vibration we can get that if you want the split flickers you can just add that in it's it's amazing how CapCut ai is able to do this effortlessly okay it's quite amazing so i'm just gonna add this right so i'm adding this flicker to this particular frame and you can see what it's already doing to this clip so let's take it from the beginning and just see how you just add this extra flare to your video and it's just with a click of a button just look at this just with a click of a button we're able to do that and you have a lot of this as if we scroll if we scroll through you see we have a lot of this a lot a whole lot it, it keeps going it keeps going from trending you know keeps going you can do a lot of cool things with it okay this is one this is another let me show you one it lightning strike the lightning strike one this particular one yeah, i'm sure you would have seen this in some videos with sound effects it's quite interesting and easy to do so i'll just bring that in I'll just bring that in and show you how it works. There are other noise shakes and the rest. It's, it's just totally up to you. Your creativity is endless with 
effect with CapCut PC. You can do as much as you want. It's not complicated. It's super easy to get done and you make things work. So let's bring this in and let me show you how this lightning effect works. So now this is it. So imagine we are moving from this one with multiple frames and then we enter into the lightning strike one. So are you seeing it? It's is interesting cool great not complicated at all and you can find as much as you want and just use it if you want this edge glow also you can do that you can give it that zoom you can do a lot you see opening and close and you can do a lot night lens it's a lot you can actually do with it Okay, you can actually do a lot with it. You can just pick what works, what you feel suits your video the most, and you can do much more with that. You have the nightclub effect too. You can actually make that work. You can 2024. So these are just different kinds you can actually use. Light effects. Okay, you can use this too. You just imagine you using this particular light effect one and just adding that in okay you just add that in so now you see you see all of a sudden there's there's a there's that effect which was not there before and now you have that effect you see the effect here if we move this away you see the effect was not there before but now all of a sudden we have the light effect on your body and if we play it just here it looks it looks like yes windows coming in from this side not complicated at all you have a lot you have stars i'm telling you, you can keep going with this and you won't be bored you won't be bored at all you have scanning you have destruction glitches a lot you can actually do so this is how to add effects to videos and i hope it was helpful to you and you enjoyed it to the fullest now i'm going to be showing you how to add overlays to video which is super easy not complicated at all i'm going to be bringing in some images and some videos and i'm going to be showing you how to add it onto a layer of another video in CapCut pc app i hope i'll see you on the next one please stay blessed david here welcome to this lecture welcome back i hope you've been enjoying this course so far in this next lecture i'm just going to be showing you how to add a lot and not a lot how to add overlay in CapCut pc it's super easy CapCut pc have this feature you can add overlays adding images or videos to the images and giving them live which i'm going to show you in a later video but i'm just going to show you in this one how to add for instance you want to add pictures i think i have pictures of cool pets like this one yeah so i'm just going to bring that in okay so now we have that we can click on it to bring it into our timeline so we want it as an overlay so we definitely want it up okay like so that's where we want it because it's going to be an overlay as you can see it's on the picture but definitely it's blocking their face and i don't want that so what am i going to do i'm going to go over to remover and i'm just going to do auto remove okay so now i auto remove the background which is something i've showed you how to do in this image in this course already if you've not seen that make sure you go back to watch that and now you can adjust it and just move it to the side okay just move it to the side like that you can do this for logos you can do this i'm going to show you how to do it on different things you know adding watermarks and the rest it works same way with just little differences and now if we play this video we have it there as you can see 
is changing along with the filters so it's super easy to do let me do one more for you so that you see how easy it is to create i'm just going to bring in another or let's make it um, a video this time let's let's make it a video all right let me find i have one okay let's bring in this video for instance and we are just going to put that in here again and i'm going to click on that all right i uh, would cut i don't want it to be that long i just need a little part of it so i'll do my control b and get this out by deleting this so now i have this okay so i want this to i want them above this image like so so this is where i want them to be as you can see the dog is already there but for this one i just want to get the colors out of it i can reduce it and you see we have the dog and the lady under so what i'll do with this one now is to do chroma key i can remove background also and it's going to take out the background all right it's going to take out the background for us of this image but if that won't work it's processing as you can see it might take some time but trust me it's going to take that out and it's going to process it for us to be able to view it and enjoy it so i'm going to pause it while it processes it and i'll get back so that this video is not super long for us so we are back it's almost done processing it's about 98 99 so you see it has taken out the background now if i move this lady just to the side here you see she's happy and if we go over and play this from the very beginning you see we have this lady she's happy she's celebrating with the new weird couples as you can see so it's super easy to just combine clips and make your editing look so much professionally done by just doing this simple trick CapCut is very easy to understand and use if you watch proper tutorials like this one proper courses like this one you'll be able to do it without much time wasted i hope you enjoyed this overlay in CapCut pc and we'll see you on the next one please stay safe welcome to this next lecture in this lecture i'm going to show you how to animate and animate i'm an in an in that's crazy i'm going to be showing you how to animate in capcut pc how to put animations into capcut pc bringing it to life all right it's super easy to do and we're going to be doing that using keyframe and the puppy cute dog we have here so to, to do that what we have to do is we have the dog in the frame already we are going to go to basics and we are going to do position keyframe we're going to be adding keyframe by clicking on this semi triangle here and we are just going to bring it to life okay so we are just going to bring the image to life remember she's moving they are moving but our puppy is not moving so we're going to be using keyframe to animate it and bring it to life and i'm going to show you how to do it step by step so the first step is one will be at the beginning that's where we'll start from and then we'll put in our first keyframe okay position keyframe and then we can move this either by moving this like so adding little scale to it okay we add a little scale to it then we can add another keyframe here okay and then we can move this again and reduce the scale and add another keyframe and then we can also just press on our shift key and move our cursor front or back to go frame by frame like so and then we can add another keyframe here again and then we can just move it again and then we have it there moving 
keyframe added we can move again and this time we can go on to add positioning and rotational keyframes so we'll add the positioning and we'll add rotational keyframe and then we move again and then we're going to scale down right and add positioning and rotational keyframe but for the rotational keyframe i'm just going to move it a bit like so and then i'll do it again at the end and then i would rotate it down again to zero okay as you can see we've added that and we've also added a positional keyframe so now if we go to the beginning this is how it's going to look let's play it from this part and this is how it's going to look let's play it and see okay as you can see you can see it move, make them move okay so it's it usually it should it should also increase but then it did not increase because we add some other keyframes we didn't re really see it have effect which was supposed to have effect it was supposed to have that effect when we zoom in and all but if you check to the end you see we had a rotational movement and we gave it a movement so we can just delete all again or let me just use let me bring in another image so i can just show you how to do the zoom the position on it without making use of this particular one so i'll just bring in another image okay let's use this cute poppy we have here so we just bring that into okay so now we have that let's take it here uh, we'll just reduce this okay so now we have this one all right so now i'm gonna do the positioning keyframe on this one all right to just show you how it's gonna look let me take it to this clip because i don't want it appearing on that other one okay so let's put it there okay so we have the dog there so now we're gonna go to remove background and just get that background removed right so now we have the dog and then let's move the dog to the side again like so and now we're going to add position keyframe to this and it should work this time let's go back to basics position keyframe so position keyframe is supposed to be moving left to right front to back you get what what i'm trying to say so let's do that so add one position we we'll press down our shift key and move a frame and then we can move it again okay so you see it has added another keyframe we move again we move again and we can put it back again it adds another keyframe and we can go on like that for the scale for the scale what i was trying to do there is we're supposed to add the keyframe to the scale and not to the positioning positioning is one if we want to add it to the scale i'm going to show you how to do that watch with me and that's why it's good to every, watch every lecture to the end so let's continue with the positioning first okay so now we do that again it adds another keyframe and then to the end add another keyframe just like that perfect so now we can go to the beginning again and then add scaling keyframe so on that scale we click on the triangle to add the first keyframe we reduce again okay we move to this part we scale it down the more All right so we have this scaling keyframe and i'm putting it directly on the other ones we already have okay 
so it's going to give it that life it's going to animate the cute pet perfectly as you can see and then we'll go on and play it at the end you have the perfect animation done and you can use this for names for videos for a lot of things it's super easy so now let's play it and let's see what the final result looks like okay here you go it's that simple not complicated that is how to animate in CapCut pc using keyframe i hope you enjoyed this lecture and i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back in our last class i showed you how to animate animate I don't know why I find that word very difficult to pronounce, but you know what I'm talking about. Animate in CapCut PC. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to do smooth zoom in and out effect. That's going to be super interesting. It's not complicated. We are still going to be using keyframes for this. This is going to be how to do smooth zoom in and out in CapCut PC with keyframe. So this next three lectures including the one before we're just going to be using keyframe and i'm going to show you the power of keyframe in capcut pc so to start with we're just do ctrl a i want to get rid of all this on my timeline already we don't need this again you get the gist of that already so now i'm going to bring in this particular image this is the one we are going to be using for this lecture and i'm going to be showing you how it works how cool it's going to be looking and to start with we are going to hit this and we are going to work with scales and positioning okay you don't need rotation for this one you can actually do it but i just want to give it that cinematic feel so we're going to be working with scale keyframe and position keyframe so to start with i'm just going to pause and get back to you yes so we're going to start putting in the scale keyframe and with that we're going to get straight right to it Trust me, this process is not complicated and it's going to give your video that professional feel. So let's do it. Now we are at the beginning. Remember I told you to move frame to frame. You can use your shift key and your left or right button to move frames. So you do your shift key like that. And your this is the right button okay and you can do that for the back button so we are starting from the very first frame and now i'm going to add a keyframe there i'm going to zoom in all the way like so I'll, I'll zoom in all the way like so so ensure the video is high quality anyways and then i'm going to do my shift and right button like that and i'm going to move it out again all right so now you can see it has added another keyframe and then i'll add my first positional keyframe so i'm just going to click still on this one i'm going to click my positional keyframe and i'm going to move the position like so just to give it that feel and now i'll press my shift key again move keyframe to the front and i'm going to zoom out again just like that we have the keyframe i'm going to add a position keyframe again and this time i'm just going to take it a little bit down like that and i'll move it out a bit again just a little and then i'm just going to add another position keep okay no i didn't move that so i'm just going to move again all right and then i will 
add a position keyframe by moving this up again as you can see it's added and we've add a little scale again and then I will move once more to add in another positioning keyframe by bringing two of them into the frame and then reduce the scale like so so you see we are adding double keyframe on each other it's quite interesting you can watch this video over and over again to just see how it works and how cool it can look if you do it right if you master it okay so now we have that and now i'll take the video back at the end again to its original position so i'm just gonna do 100 okay 100 and i'll position it the way it was in the beginning just like that which has added the positional keyframe so if i go to the beginning again and then i play it this is what you're going to get as you can see smooth transition see watch it move super easy not complicated it looks like the camera is doing the work but it's actually ai doing all the billings on this and it's super interesting super unique are you seeing the way it's moving you just need to be creative with this and trust me keyframe is a very essential tool when it comes to CapCut pc it helps a lot with making your video have that professional look and trust me this is how it is super easy to do it didn't take us a lot of time to get that done about five minutes and we have our first scene with smooth zoom effect in them thanks for watching this i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back and this very next lecture i'm going to show you how to do pop-ups you have these pop-ups where you have either videos or text or image popping up from nowhere into an existing video it's super easy to do the effect is not complicated at all and i'm going to be showing you how to do that by using another image for instance let's use this let's bring in this one All right so it's going to be two ways you're going to be working with the overlay which i already showed you in some lectures back and then we are going to be working with this one so now to start with we want this image to be smaller right we want it to be smaller something like this this is the image we are going to be working with and we are going to be having our test our text pop up too so we are going to be bringing in text so to do that i'm going to go to text and just type in something like up next you get what i'm trying to say so for this i will just find a cool text i can use let me use this okay let me bring this in right so i'm just going to bring that in so it's going to say all right so i'm going to reduce it let's first type in what we want Control a you can highlight that and do up okay let's do up next all right and we're going to reduce it we're going to reduce it cool so now we have it we're just going to move it like so just like that and that's where we want it to start right okay i will just try to make this easy simple for you to understand and follow all right it's gonna be easy for you to understand and follow not complicated at all
Okay. So now we have it there. I want to make sure it's not starting together with this. Okay. So now this is what's going to happen. To make this pop up, we are just going to click on this and we're going to go to keyframe again, position keyframe. We'll click on that, this position keyframe. I will take that out. Okay. We're going to take that out of the frame like that. All right. So now we have the first keyframe. And then we are going to move it a bit just before just before the text comes up then we are going to bring it back into the scene like that okay so now we have that and if we play it this is how it's going to look okay so if you want it faster you move this keyframe closer to each other and now if you play it this is how it's going to look okay so now for the text we are going to do the same thing we want it to also pop so we are just going to put in all right so what we are going to do is to do same with the fonts and we're going to do position keyframe again with this one okay oh, we're just going to leave it the way it is i think it will allow us to position keyframe all right okay let's see let's move it a bit forward okay we have to do this manually all right so if we take this down let's see if we take it down let's we have to write down the number we see here it says 2082 okay 2082 if we take it out of the frame okay if we take it out of the frame it's going to give us a different number but since we can actually do that we can do that with an image it would have been better if we brought in an image but since we use this text this is how it's going to look so i don't want to make it complicated for you i'm just going to make it as simple as possible but as professional as it can get so let's play it from beginning and you'll see how it's going to look just like this in other videos i'm going to show you how to use different pops pop up pop and how they work so let's just play this and just see how it looks so we are playing it and yes we are going to see that pop up and it's going to show up next you see it's super easy not complicated at all and remember we want to get this out as soon as it gets here right this way we want it. we don't want it to show for too long so let's just assume we want it to be this long so we just increase that and reduce that okay so we just reduce that Keyframe is quite a fancy cool tool to use and it's not a complicated tool to even understand. So now we have it like that. We are just going to start from somewhere here and this is how it's going to look. You see, super easy. We can now make it bring life into it by adding pop effects, audio. Okay, so if we take it to the beginning like this, we can now go to audio, sound effects, and pop. Let's find pop. Okay, let's find pop. If we have something, usually we would, we would have something like this. Let's play it. Exactly. So now let's add this pop. Okay, so now we've added that pop and now if we go back and just play it from here, just look how to life is going to look, how professional it's going to look. Let's do that. Let's play it one more time. Okay, so we can decide to move the pop effect just 
to this one okay if we don't want it here let's delete that and we want it to start where the text is so we'll just add that here just like that so now if we play it for the last time this time you see how cool looking it is simple not complicated and trust me it's fun to do super easy to do not complicated at all i hope you enjoy this i will see you in the next video have a blessed day stay safe You learned how to make pop-ups like this in the last video in this video i'm going to show you how to rotate objects in CapCut to just give it the extra feel so i'm trying to rotate maybe an arrow around this pop-up like this okay just to show you just to put more emphasis on this up next image and i'm going to show you how easy it will be to do it in CapCut pc right it's gonna be super easy not complicated at all if you've not seen this video already be patient you will definitely see it if you're watching with the course i'm sure you've seen it already so now let's get straight right to it so we don't waste time okay so we're gonna be starting here all right we're just gonna be moving this one frame okay like that so now i'm gonna go to stickers you can also use object from outside cap cuts obviously but with me i'm just going to be using this for instance i like this arrow so if i bring in this arrow so now i have the arrow and it's there so i'm going to take it up to this yes i'm just going to reduce the scale of the arrow like that and then what i'm going to do is i want it to rotate round okay i want it to rotate round this but at the same time i want it to start just here i want it to start just here so it's going to be super fast so to start with we're going to be working with once again we're not working with scale this time we're going to be working with position and rotational keyframe so the first keyframe i would definitely want to add would be okay so it's gonna start here so anytime we rotate anytime we rotate we add a keyframe and anytime we move the position Okay, so we are going to start from here again. We are going to add position keyframe 2. So if we move, it's going to add a new position, as you can see. And we are going to just try to rotate it a bit, like so. If we move again, it's add and more position added. So like that more position added so we are doing it on one spot which is not supposed to be we are supposed to be moving it here right so we are going to go back down you see these are the errors we make and we work on it's very important we are able to work on our errors okay so let's start now so now we have it we have the first keyframe position and rotation we're going to move it okay like that and we move it up and then see the position has added once we turn it rotation will be added okay that's the first one we'll move it again and we'll move it up position added keyframe once we move this rotation has been added so we'll do that again we are putting animation into this and making it fun right so we have new position sorry about that let me get back to this move it again like so we have added positioning and we've added a keyframe so let's just move that a bit like so 
okay and for the final one we are just going to move it to the end and would we'll move the positioning again and then we have the rotation okay it's as simple as that and it's not complicated if we go to the beginning and play it from the top you see those keyframes have been added so we now we have the rotation thing with keyframe like i said keyframe is super interesting i'm going to make a full course about just using keyframes alone and you'll be surprised how fascinating just knowing how to use keyframe we add that professional view to all your videos so we are just going to start from here again and play this video and you're going to see what the magic look like are you ready for the magic let's go So you see how interesting that was it was super easy to do you can actually do it with any object you can bring in even a simple tire and you can just rotate it and it will actually look like it's rotating it's that easy it's not complicated at all it's super easy to do you can do that as much as you want and for a lot of things you can actually do it it's not it's not complicated at all to do super easy to do i hope you enjoyed this one i'll see you in the next one where i'm gonna be showing you how to change opacity of either a video to another video it's gonna be easy it's gonna be simple you're gonna love it and i'll see you on the next one stay blessed Come back i hope you're enjoying the course so far so in this one the next one so in this one we're going to be showing you how to add opacity to videos i'm sure you can do it to object too but i'm going to be showing you with video to make it you know just translate from one video to another I'm just going to be showing you with this particular one this one should not take our time i'm going to be showing you two example one with this video we already have remember if you've not watched the pop-up video how to do pop-up in CapCut PC make sure you find that video and watch it because then you understand this I just want to add an extra effect which is the opacity keyframe effect just to give it that blinking look to it so we can do that by just waiting for it to pop up you know I showed you how to make it pop up as like this in the video and now we can from here just add opacity keyframe and how do you do that click on this video which is this video and you scroll down to where you see opacity okay so you see it you have opacity then you add your first keyframe there and now you move a bit just move some frames forward and you start reducing the opacity like so you can move another keyframe and you increase your opacity back to 100 and you can do that reduce the opacity again and then you can do that at the end reduce the opacity to 90 or close to that and then move it again to the end and take it back to 100 okay so now sorry about that so now when you go back and play it this is what you get let's play it you can see you can see it gave it that extra effect it's not complicated at all we can also do it for the end of this video let's assume this video is coming to an end here and we want to bring in a different video let's go back to import and let's say we want to bring in this video we had here okay we want to bring that in to continue from here we can as well do that okay so what we are going to do is 
at this point we add an opacity we're going to be adding an opacity reducing this and just trying to put it on this one while we get rid of this one so we'll go back to opacity let me do it for you so you understand it we're at opacity so we are going to add a keyframe here and we're going to reduce it so it just looks like it's showing but it's not showing completely right and then the more we move closer to the end the more we try to increase the opacity of this other one like so and once we get closer to the end we can increase it to 100 percent or closer you can see it's fading out that other image at the back and then we can do it completely and put this at 100 percent and now if we go and play it this is what it's going to look like the effect with keyframe it's so amazing i can't keep emphasizing or i would keep emphasizing on the love i have for keyframes and let's play it and you see the effect it gives you it gives you that transition to the next clip just see it let's play it You can see how easy it is and how fun it is to do the opacity key framing in CapCut for transitions. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved it. I will see you definitely on the next one. Stay blessed. I hope you enjoyed the very last lecture. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to do the scrolling text effect. Those scrolling text you see beneath videos, either in news or just passing information. Those ones you see moving from right to left. It's super easy to do, not complicated. I'm just going to show you how to do it using keyframe. So work with me. So for instance, we want it to appear here. All right. Maybe we want it to appear here. I want it. Okay, let's just assume we want it to start at this spot. The first thing we'll do now is to go to text and put in our text. So we're going to be using default text for this. So let's just hit default text. So now we have it and this is default text. So we'll do control A to highlight it. And I'm just going to write something in the line of thanks for following this course so far I hope you are and join and join every beat of it remember to follow like share and subscribe so I'm just using this Okay, so I'm just using it. I'm just using this for instance. So now we have that text, as you can see it. It's it's there. We have it, and we can reduce the size. Okay, like that. We have it at five. So now we we'll just bring it down here. And the first thing we want to do is to just get it out of the frame okay like that so now that we have it out of the frame we now want to go down and find our position key frame okay so position key frame all right i'm just gonna look for that so position keyframe then 
we'll add our first keyframe here. All right, that's our first keyframe. And then we move it to the end. Like that. Just like that. And then we'll add another keyframe. There. Okay, so let's. Okay, I made an error with this, so I'm going to do it again. Okay, so it's an error. So we are just going to do that again. I'm going to get rid of this keyframe. And that's why you see I hardly edit my video because you can make this error yourself and it's just for you to fix it. Okay, so now let's try and fix it and make it work the right way. Okay, so we are going to do the first keyframe and it's going to start here. Right, this is where it's going to start. This is where it's going to start like that. And then we'll move to the end. And then that's where we'll add our other keyframe. Okay. I hope it's clear. It's super easy, not complicated at all. So we'll just get that out like that. Alright, so we have the two. And now if we go over and play it, this is how it's going to look. Okay, as you can see, it moved extremely fast, right? So to increase the speed, all we need to do is to click on it and we can go back up. Okay. And we can just increase it like this to the end. And we'll take this keyframe, this keyframe we have here, we'll drag it to the end like that. So now if we play it, it's going to be a bit slower all right, it's going to be a bit slower. Let's see. You can see it's a bit slower and we have it just where we want it to be. And it's super easy to do, not complicated at all. It's super, super easy to do. I hope this was helpful and I hope you'll be able to add it to your creations going forward, to pass your information, to give credit, to do things like that, to tell people to follow you whatever you want to use it for now you know how to do it you know how to do the scrolling text effect in CapCut PC and I'm super happy you can do it for yourself now go out try all these things I've showed you together in a video and let me know down how it works see you on the next one David says stay blessed Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the masking transition in Cap Cut PC. So we have this image or this video. I'm going to take this video out and bring in a new copy. Okay, so let's bring in a new copy. And we're just going to drag that above this one like that. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is I want this, I want this to show, okay, this is showing, but then I want this to also show in, in a more, in a later date, so what I'm going to do is to add in maxing transition, and to do that, I'll first click on masking, alright, and I'll click on where I said horizontal, I'll click on that, so now I'll turn it, Okay, I'll turn it and I'll just try and drag it. So now that I have it, let's see how it's going to look. Okay, so I'll, add, I'll have to add it anyways to this one too. So I'll do the 
horizontal two okay so you see we have it there i'm just going to turn it okay like so so now let me click on this one and just drag it out like that okay so i can have it like so like that so now if i wanted to transit to this one i'll just take this one a bit out of the equation right and i'll work with this transition and i'll just take it to the end like that okay and then i'll add keyframe to the max okay so as i move it forward as i move it forward i would try to bring in this one like that okay i'll try to bring it i'll just move this one to somewhere here okay so i'll still move this again like so and sorry i'm not clicking on that so i have that so as soon as i have a little black box i want this one to come in and take over so let's see how it's going to be so we have it like that okay so this one is coming in but i don't want this to come in just immediately so i'm going to create its own i'm going to create its own yes where it shows the black box that's where i'm going to put this first keyframe so i'm going to move this again and then i'm going to keep on bringing it in like that okay and i'll keep doing it till i get rid of the one beneath it completely all right so i'll just do the last one like so so now if i try to play it this is what we are going to get let's say we'll start from here so you've seen it you see what we are getting it's super super easy not complicated at all so it's easy to do that it's not it's not complicated like i said if you always want to if you always want your your keyframe to happen faster you put them close to each other okay you just put them close to each other like that and it would happen faster no that's the wrong thing i did there okay so we have that and now if we just play it from here we just see it's gonna happen smoothly it's just gonna you know just it's not gonna take time okay so it was an error here what really happened was when it got here there was no more keyframe to push it so i'm just gonna add the keyframe back like that and i'll just push that out okay so now there was this black box we had this black box right okay so that black box i want to fill in that space you can fill in the space or we can drag this transition back a bit to fill in that black spot so we have something like this okay so now we can play it and see how it's gonna look this is about practicing and making it perfect okay i don't want i want you to see it without the lines sorry about that it's just about practicing and making it perfect so let's play without the lines so this is how it's gonna look the transition is gonna come in now as you can see super fast super interesting and it goes you see super easy easy to do transitions like that you can make it smoother you can make it faster you can make it shorter you can do a lot of things when it comes to maxing so just like with 
keyframes and keyframes alone adding max and give it another level of professionalism and i hope you enjoyed this i'll see you on the very next course we're still going to be dealing with max skin so if this is something you're interested in ensure you're watching the very next class thank you for watching this one i will see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back david here again so in this video i'm going to show you how to compare two videos using the masking tool this is a very simple tutorial it's not going to take our time at all so i have two clips which i'm going to bring into the timeline right about now this is the very first clip and this is the second clip what is the difference this is just a normal clip as you would see if i scroll to the front there's no zoom effect it's just a normal video i color graded and this is the second one which i'm going to bring in which is going to overlay on the second one okay as you can see this one adds a zoom effect on it a cinematic zoom effect so now i want to compare it just me for instance you want to send it to your client or you just want to make this effect in your videos and you want to put them side by side so what will you do starting with the clip below you're going to click on it and you're going to go into video and max okay it's going to be on basic you're going to take it to max and click on that and you're going to be using this horizontal max tool so you just click on that and now what you're going to do is to turn this 90 degrees as we have it here right and you can reduce the fade or move it to the side you can either do one if you want to move it to the side more you can do like that okay but if you want to put in the middle but just reduce the fade you can just drag on this button like so to just add a little fade and we are going to do same thing with this clip okay we're going to do same thing with this clip we're going to add the horizontal max right and now you can see it it's under this but then i'm going to turn it all right again like i did with the last one all right so now we have it just like that so now we have that and we can do that or just make it that way for this one i'm just going to reduce the drag i did okay so now we have those two clips side by side and they are both doing different things all right so you can see and you can drag one to the end just like that and if you play it so you have two clips and you can decide to move this particular clip to the side like that all right you can decide to zoom in or zoom out move these two clips all right you can decide to do whatever you want with them it's totally up to you you can decide to make them like this okay so you have one with the zoom and the other one without the zoom so they are just two clips now playing and if we go to the beginning we'll play them this is what you get okay this is what you get let me just play that for you so you can see there are two clips one is zooming in and one is just a normal clip but there are two different clips and then they meet at the end so it's quite simple to compare two clips and you can do it for images too comparing two images you can try this out for yourself it's quite easy not complicated at all i hope you found this interesting and i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back david here again in this video it's going to be fast and short i'm going to be showing you how to add the talking head video you usually see in some for instance youtube instagram or whatever kind of video storyline storytelling videos you see online it's quite easy to do using the max tool so for instance i'm going to bring in this hey there video. future video editing okay so i have this video it will usually be on basics right so i have it here and this is it so now i can decide 
to bring in this video let's start with this one we used okay earlier so we'll just bring in this for instance so we have it on top as you can see i can decide to max this video to make it appear just in a circle instead of this full video and to do that we'll go to from video we'll go to maxing tool again and we're going to click on this particular one you can actually do it in different shape you can do it in triangle in the love the star so i'm just going to use this okay as you can see this is it here so you can just position it the way you want it to be all right if that's the way you want it to be and then you can move it downwards to where you want it to be and you can reduce the size okay so as it's like that you have it there let's get back to it then we'll move it to this side all right okay so we'll move it to this side like that and we can reduce it you don't want to reduce it from this side it's going to change the shape as you can see so you want to always just ctrl z and just use this edge to reduce it and move it to the side like you see there and if you want to make it smaller you can definitely make it smaller so it's not like you can just do it the way you want you can make it work the way you want and now if we play from the beginning this is what hey we'll get there, future video editing maestros welcome to this transformative cap cut video editing tutorial for complete beginners okay so that's one way we can bring in this video also and let's just take this video here and we can do this circle or we can do whatever one let's do use this star this time since we're going to be working on this star girl dancing we're just going to use the star this time and just put it to the side it's quite easy to do it's not complicated all right not complicated at all so we're gonna add it to this lady we have here okay as you can see we have uh in the star already so now we can just increase it if you want to increase it as you can see so you can just make it there if you want it to be fun and in the middle you have it there so if you play it this is what you get today we would be your guide on a journey from novice to pro editor and the best part it's all 100 percent free stick with us use the timestamps you will find down as you can see it's super easy to make this it's not complicated at all and you can do it for your videos you can just use it to make for instance this style star effect or the circle talking head you can actually do whatever you want to do with it it's quite easy and it's never complicated CapCut PC the AI is magic and trust me you would love it thanks for watching this one I will see you on the next one stay blessed hello and welcome back david here again in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add cinematic borders to your videos for instance you see that cinematic borders those two black edges you see in your video something like you see here you see the black border and the black border at the top and you want to add it to your video for instance let's bring in this video as you can see this video does not have the black border it's just a full video which we've been working with it does not have the black border but we want it in our video right to give it a cinematic feel yet ways to do it and we're going to be using the max tool again in CapCut PC so let's do it let's go to max and we're going to be using mirror right so we're going to be using this mirror tool to get that effect and we can always bring that in and this is what you get all right so once you move it up like this this is how it's going to be right this is how it's going to be but if you want to showcase how creative you can be remember we talked about keyframing in the beginning now let's use keyframing here so let's assume we start from here we had our first keyframe here click on the keyframe okay and we move some frame forward by pressing your shift key and right arrow okay like that then we are going to add bring it in a bit drag it down from this top we are going to drag it down like this okay then it's going to add another keyframe to it 
right so now we've moved that keyframe let's move on that keyframe one two and then we're going to drag it down again like so okay so now this is what is going to happen if we go to the beginning and play or from start to finish this is how it's going to look and it's going to look super interesting not complicated at all and you can give that extra flair to your video by just showcasing this and just moving it from start to finish so I'll, I'll add one more keyframe so that we'll just get back to basics from the beginning so let me click on it so we have these three keyframes right so I'll move some frame forward and then I'll just take it back again like that add another keyframe move some frame forward you can actually move frame forward but i like to do it with the shift key and right click button right and then we'll move in completely back again and then we have it there all right and now if we go to the beginning and just play it from the start all right this is what we we'll get let's play it You see that's how easy it is to give it that cinematic effect and if you want it for all the video you can just click on it let's say you don't want to have that extra graphics going on you see from here we we'll go to this place you can move some two keyframes again and then we just create that cinematic effect back in the video like so depending on how you want it all right depending on how you want it how big you want it to be or how tiny you want it to be and you just hit your keyframe and now when we go back to the beginning and play it this is how it's going to be the final result it's super easy not complicated at all and i'm sure you loved this video and i'm sure you are falling in love with canva PC because it's super easy to use and not complicated become a professional graphics video designer in design editor in no time trust me thanks for watching this i will see you on the next one stay blessed welcome so you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to clone yourself in CapCut PC to create professional looking video effect for yourself or for your clients. Welcome to this video. This is how to clone yourself using CapCut PC. By the end of the day, you're going to learn the simple effect you are seeing on the screen right about now using the masking tool. It's super easy, not complicated, and I'm sure by the time you are done, you'll be doing this for fun and it'll be getting a lot of attention. If this is something you want to do and this is something you want to learn to take your editing game to a whole new level, then stay with me to the end of this video. It's going to be entertaining, it's going to be fun, and we are going to go straight right to it. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to bring in your first clip. There are rules to this thing first three rules you must follow to make sure this thing works for yourself your two videos i'm going to bring in this one right about now to the timeline this will be your first video you want to ensure let me show you now that this video is crossing from this side just like this you want to ensure the second video you are recording does not cross in front of this one instead it's going to come from the back so i'm going to bring this in and show you what I mean by that okay so this is the second clip and you can see it's coming from the back like that all right so that's what we are going to be working with that is the first thing you should put in mind secondly when you're trying to create this effect your camera position should not move throughout the recording of the two videos very important you don't want the camera moving you want the camera to stay still in a particular position and the third thing, ensure your lighting is 100%. The lighting should not change throughout this process. So we are going to go in and start working on it now. So I'll just move the second clip to the end like so. And I'll first work on this clip where I want it to start from. As you can see, 
I want it to start from him entering like so. So I'm going to cut from here. I'm going to do Control B to cut this asset clip and delete that. Okay, so now I have this clip just here like that. So I'm going to wait to the end where it's working out again like so. Yes, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to cut from here. Also do Control B again. Ensure you watch to the end. If you've not subscribed, ensure you hit the subscribe button because this is going to be a fun tutorial. So now that I have the first clip, I'm going to work on the second clip just before I start adding my effect. So I'm just going to drag this first clip here and move this out of the way. Okay, so for this first clip, let's just go and see where we want it to start from. As you can see, there was a part where it crossed over from this side. We don't want that part at all. We want him crossing when it starts to appear around here. So I'll just find that. I'll just move this cursor and just find where I start to see him appear. Like so. Right. So now I'll cut from here. Control B once more. If you're on Mac, that will be Command B. So I'm going to delete this first frame and now I'll move to the end and see if there's a part I need to trim out okay there's that part where it went out of frame but I'll just move that in like so so we have this to this part all right okay so I'll just cut that out too so now control B or command B any which one so now we have our two clips it's time to put in the masking effect needed for this to work properly are you ready I mentioned three rules right there's one more rule ensure there is a imaginary line in between so that you are not crossing to the other video that's very important you want to create an imaginary line in your head you want to know where your first person will start and your second person will start obviously is a clone so you should know where told them will stand and ensure they don't cross each other so now let's work on this first clip now we'll click on this first clip like you've seen and then we'll go to max we are going to be using horizontal max which is this one all right so i'm just going to click on it i've not used it before if you've not watched my first video about the very important settings you need to turn on this was my last video i made on this channel the very important settings you need to turn on ensure you have gone over to watch that it's very important so for this we're just going to turn this like so okay so we have it there so you don't get confused our advice you take the upper clip out of the of this first one when you're working on this one so you hit on that one and you want to rotate it to your seeing your person like that okay ensure it is 90 degree as you saw there it says 90 degree then you will bring in this particular one over it like so and then you will ensure this is turned the other way like so okay so you have the two videos now all right so you have the two videos just like that okay as you can see there's a thin line in between and you can just move this a bit like so all right you can move that a bit so you can move that a bit to ensure no more lines in it as you can see they have that line you don't want that line to show okay don't want that line to show at all so you can just move it a bit just to blend it out all right and you should have both of them in the screen like there keep working with that line you don't want the line interfering actually don't want that line there okay you don't want that line there so you want to ensure you're doing it in a way that that line gets off as you can see so what i did was simple 
what I did was simple and if you followed me to the end you would know how to do it for yourself and you can watch this video again so what I did was the line showed up and all I needed to do was move this arrow for the clip at the top all the way and move this arrow for the clip at the top all the way and we have this and this is the finished work this is what it looks like from the beginning Okay, so that is it. That's how to do it. You don't want to overdo this line because you see it's creating a transparent feel on the body. So you don't want to overdo that. Just doing it minimally and you should be able to get this done for yourselves. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks and I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Welcome back in this lecture. I'm going to be showing you how to make fake camera movement in CapCut PC. This process is quite simple and just takes a little bit of keyframing and you're good to go. So I'm going to be using this image and I'll bring it to my timeline by hitting on this plus sign like that. And once it's done loading, we can start the work. So this is the image. So the first thing I want to do is just to, let me get rid of this, is just to make sure it's positioned in the middle. If I play this, what we'll get, so you can see there's no movement, there's no flare, it's just a simple video. But then I'm going to show you something really cool you can do with this image that will give it that extra flare to it. I might not take it for the full video, but I'm just going to show you how it works. To get started, let's click on text okay we'll click on text let me load this I'll just load this for you guys to see all right so we're just gonna hit on the default text I'll bring that in like so so I'm gonna put it for the duration I want the video I won't be doing it for the entire top video so I'm just gonna move it a bit like this and for this default text all I want to add is a full stop okay all I want to add is a full stop like that and then I'm gonna increase as you can see I'm just gonna make these dots bigger and move it towards our face make it a little bit bigger and just move it towards our face like that so depending on how strong you want the camera effect to be the more you increase this dot but for me I'll just leave it at that because I don't want our face to just leave that space so now I have that where I want it to be alright the next thing I'm gonna do is to reduce the opacity so that I can see the face a little this is not necessary but I do it so I'll just reduce the opacity of that circle so that every time I move she's in the middle okay so what I'm gonna be doing now is to move frame by frame All right I'll move frame by frame and try to transform so you see where it says transform I'm gonna hit transform so that it's gonna turn all keyframes on it's gonna turn the scale uniform scale positioning rotational keyframe it's gonna turn them on and then for every every move if I increase it alright if I create it a bit it's gonna give us that first keyframe and I can just position her like that so now I'm gonna do control I'm gonna be doing my control then right arrow to move the next keyframe as you can see I'm gonna move her like that back into the circle like that alright I'm gonna move her back into the circle 
the more she moves the more I move uh, back into the circle like that right so I'll do my control shift again move another keyframe move her back into that circle so you might want to adjust this you might just want to keep adjusting this like this. so so I'll move another keyframe again do my control shift key pressing my right arrow okay so you see she has moved out I'll bring her back in like that again I'll bring her back in like that so anytime I do that if you notice it's going to be adding keyframe automatically to the image just watch that watch out for the keyframe it's going to keep adding keyframe to the image Alright, so I'm going to do another shift to the front, one more keyframe, and I'm going to move uh, a bit into it again. Like so, as you can see, it keeps adding keyframes. So I'll just keep doing that for as much as I want while you watch. Okay. right so we can keep doing that and when we are done I don't want to rush this tutorial I want you to follow me step by step so that you see how easy it can be to get this done for yourself okay so let's keep going remember all I'm doing is I turned on the transfer transform keyframe and then I, I make sure I add these dots in the middle of the frame. You saw that white line. I make sure it was in the middle of the frame. If you don't understand what I did in the beginning, watch it again, you understand. Just make sure this circle is in the beginning of the frame. In the middle of the frame of the video, because you might want the camera movement to be in the middle. If you want it to be at the side, you make sure the circle is at the side this is just a normal dot i took from the default test and once i'm done i'm going to get rid of it so let me position this again like so if you don't understand it let me know i can explain this better i will definitely be able to explain this better for you all right so i'll move another keyframe again so she moved down a bit so I can do that. So once I'm done, I'm okay with what I'm getting. And for instance, we don't want to drag this video out. I would like to do it to the end so that you just see it. So let's just keep going. It's not going to take us time anyway. So let's just keep going with it. You're going to see for yourself how easy and how smooth this would be. Thanks to Keyframe. Keyframe is a very unique tool trust me it's a very unique tool you want to use with cap cuts you need to learn it i'm going to make a master course so make sure you always check back to ensure you have the master course because i'm going to be doing a keyframe master course where i show you all you can do with keyframe and how to master keyframes okay so we are almost done with this We'll just increase this a bit so that it works for the end of the video trust me i'm not gonna waste your time so let me just pause it to save you time and we'll get back to it so yes i'm back i'm done so now i'm just gonna show you what it looks like from the beginning so like i said about this dot let me click on the dot as you can see if you notice Anytime I move the dot, is you can see that blue line showing that shows is in the middle. So depending on where you want your fake camera movement to appear, then that's where you put the dot. But now I'm done with the dot. I don't need the dot anymore. But I'm going to leave it for the beginning of this video. And I'll play it twice so that you see it with the dot there. And you see her head did not move throughout. It was focused on this dot we created here. So let's just play it from beginning and you see how it looks. Let's play it from the very beginning. So you can see it looks like the camera, someone is holding the camera and falling out all through. 
so you can see there's a movement and a head is not outside the dots so now if we get rid of the dots and we start all over again this is what you get It's super simple, super easy to do. The key framing in CapCut is like the, the magic skill you must know. I'm going to be making a master course for key framing, how to master key frame. You don't want to miss that course. It's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to review a lot using key frame. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Welcome back in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to remove video background in CapCut PC app. This is very simple the AI capability of CapCut PC is super interesting to note and it's gonna help us remove the background of a video I'm gonna be bringing in right about now. So this video is gonna be this one where you see this man making a call and is confused and receiving not so good a news I think and is frustrated but then I want to bring it in right and then we have it we we'll, remember we've been working on max so we'll go back to basics and from basic you see remove bg that means remove background so now we have the video all we need to do is auto remove uh, click on that remember it says only human figures can be cut out well I've tried it on animals moving animals and it worked but what they are trying to say it works best on humans and remember you need to have a lot of light when i say a lot of light i don't mean overexposed videos but i just mean a lot of light for it to figure out the edges but it does a lot of good work with it like you'll see right about now once i click auto remove background it's going to go out use this ai capability and it's going to get rid of the background it won't take time at all and then we'll have the ability to add strokes if we want to to the video or if we want to add pictures or images to the background which i'll be showing you in this video so if that is something you want to see make sure you stick around i don't want to bore you with all this waiting process as you can see we have 16 percent when we are close to 90 something percent i'll come back and play the video so let me pause it now so we are back and here you have it it's not taking long and it was able to get out the video background as we play it you'll be able to see that for yourself that we've been able to get out the video background and now that we have it you can see there's no background you can add other backgrounds to the back you can actually add strokes to it so let's add stroke to it as you can see it giving you that feel you can see the stroke moves along with it it's quite fascinating to know we can actually do that we can actually have the stroke like that and you see it it works super well and it's not complicated at all to do so i'm going to be showing you how to add a background to it as you can see we have that stroke now i'm sure you guys would love the other stroke which we saw earlier so let's add that back like so and now we can add another video to the background let's add this video and let's just move this up right and now we have this this is how it looks so we have the woman dancing at its back all right so i'm just gonna make that image that one behind it bigger all right i'm just gonna increase that a bit and just move it to the side like that so we have that lady dancing beneath at the back and if we play it this is how it looks okay so she's trying to make him happy stay happy and don't get lost i'll see you on the next video i hope you can remove your background now thanks for watching this one david loves you see you later Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to 
follow people with camera effect and also text or text follow people we create that effect of text following people in camera so to do that i'm going to bring in the default text and this is the manual way there is a auto way of doing it with CapCut ai but i prefer this method because it just works better and you have to do try and error with the automatic way to make it work so for this i'm just going to do like and let's do like and follow and follow so if you're not following already ensure you're following hit the follow button it's the like button share this with people so that they can see it and understand what's going on so i'm just going to reduce this a bit okay so now we can change the font we can animate the font it's totally up to you you can decide to animate the font if you want just to give it that effect that cool effect you want you can do loop right you can do loop you can do a lot okay but for this i just want an in effect just something that can just pop in okay like that let's use this pop in effect and just bring that into the timeline like so okay so now when we play it from the beginning we get something like this so now from where it popped in we'll go back to basics and here we want to track it okay we want to create a keyframe okay want to create keyframe so we just do the scale transform and we hit the scale because this is where we want to start tracking so for every frame we move remember i showed you how to go frame by frame you do you press on your shift key button and your right arrow key button on your keyboard so if it moves you want the text to move with him so i'll just move the text like that okay so as you can see we've created a second keyframe and it has showed position keyframe so again shift key button you move you make position this text to move with him this is the manual way and it's the best way to do it okay so this is the best way to do it as you can see it's not all the time you want the text to move like now once you see there's a big movement you can move the text like that press on your shift key button again and just keep moving shift and right directional button till you're okay with it and once you're done you can play it and see if you're totally fine with the effect you got or if you want to do more adjustments okay so i'll keep doing this is quite easy not complicated at all obviously you don't want to do this effect for all your things it's just a bit okay just a bit just for some scenes okay as you can see where you have big movement you ensure you are moving the text out of the way pressing down your shift key button and your right arrow don't forget that you want to follow this text like that okay sorry i pressed down on my space bar and that made the video to play okay so make sure you don't make that error because it's going to show if you do that and you need to correct that okay so this is in we're almost done you can see it's not complicated at all manual way of doing things sometimes are just the best especially for some trick so i'll still show you the automatic way of doing it the computer way of doing it but trust me this is the best i've tried using the auto way severally and it didn't work perfectly so i'm just doing this manually and showing you how it's working because with the auto way you have to create double layer of your videos and i'm not sure everybody can work with that so that's why i'm working with this okay as you can see it moved so we're just gonna move again like so 
So this is where we reduce the scale because it moved and you can see it has added position and scale keyframe to it. So we'll move another frame again like that. And you see why I'm not pausing is because I want you to understand the way this thing works so it, you don't get confused when you're trying it out for yourself. That's why I don't enjoy the fast paced video. Not that it's not good sometimes, it's perfect sometimes. But I just like you to see all the process, my mistakes, and all so that when you're doing it for yourself, it's super easy and it looks so unique. And you don't need to keep watching and watching to understand what's going on. So we are done with the keyframe, as you can see, we are done with keyframing the text and now we have this completely done, right? We have this completely done and now we are done. If we go back from the beginning and play it, it's going to be interesting what we'll get. So let me just show you how it looks from beginning to the end. Let's go from the text popping into the screen and it following demand. Let's go. You can see. So you can see it's following him. It's, it's a very cool effect. It's not a very complicated effect. It's very unique effect. Okay. Not hard to do at all super simple not complicated and i'm sure you'll be able to learn you can just go edit the text make, make the text more fancy okay you can add colors you can add different things to the text just to ensure the text looks good it's totally up to you what you want to do with the default text but this is just a simple tutorial on how to do it you can just add light to it add different formats to it it's totally up to you. I hope you enjoyed this simple video. I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Welcome back, David here again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove green screen in CapCut PC. Super easy way. We're going to be using one of the videos we've used in the past and this is it. So I'm going to bring in this video of the dancing lady. I like to use this image because she's happy and we, we are in a world where we need to be happy no matter what you think is happening. Stay happy and I'm sure you're going to have fun. So yes, we have this image. We're going to go from click on video and then BG background remover. Okay, remove BG. So we click on that. And this time, instead of auto re remover, auto remover works well with the background being um, filled with extra element, like we can see this background. But when you want to remove green screen, all we need is chroma key. So we're going to hit on chroma key, and then we'll have the ability to pick colors. It's color picker. Click on this pen you see here, and then we want to pick this green out like that and then we want to increase the intensity do it gradually okay by just increasing it like that and once you're okay with it then we are good to go you don't want to overdo it it's going to chop into the skin so you just want to make sure you are doing it minimally and checking the video to see it's working well like the air okay as you can see you don't want to overdo it all right we don't want to overdo it at the same time we don't want it to look like the greens are showing we just want to make sure we are in between it we don't overdo it so that when she's dancing you can realize okay we see with this dance you can realize there's a green screen kind of so we just want to increase that a bit yes it's totally better now let's take it to 29 that works and if we play it this is how it looks what of if you want to add background to it what if you want to add a video to the background now let me show you how to do that so we'll just go to the beginning and we'll bring in this video all right we'll bring in this video and we're just going to move it downwards okay so we'll move it downwards it needs to be down like so so now we have these two image we have the lady dancing and we have 
DA creators at the back so we can play it now and you see we've removed the green screen and we have a video playing at the back let me play it for you so that you can see what it looks like right about now hey there future video editing maestros welcome to this transformative cap cut video editing tutorial for complete beginners today we would be your guide and now that we have this video i can also tell you you can actually reduce it if you go back to basics you can actually reduce the scale from here and just put uh so we are at the edge and she can dance along and just see the way it looks today we would be your guide on a journey from novice to pro editor and the best part it's all 100 percent free okay so you can see how easy it is to remove green screens from video using the ai capability in capcut pc i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you on the next one stay blessed Welcome back David here again. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to do motion tracking in CapCut PC desktop app using the AI capabilities. So to do this I'm going to be importing or bringing in the clip. I have this clip here. Remember the telephone clip I've used in this course so far. So this is the clip. As you can see, just clicking on this clip, you can't see tracking in any of these options here. So what do you do? All you need to do is to right click, copy, and you want to paste it back, control V, and then just put it there. And what do you notice? You now have extra options up to this end and adjustment has moved so you have tracking now so now you can click on tracking and you see none and if you click on motion tracking as you see there so let's click on motion tracking and we want to track his face right all right we want to track his face you can increase it or make it curved or just leave it like that you can also increase the length if you just want to track his face like so and then what you need to do is to start tracking you see distance follow tracking object you can track different object you can track if it's just his face you want to track you can actually even track a basketball it's that simple but for this we want to track his face so let's hit start remember both direction you don't want to track just forward let's do both directions so let's hit start and it's going to go out and do the tracking for us and once it's done doing the tracking it's going to come back and it's going to be following its movement left right it's quite simple not complicated at all to do this might take a bit of time because it's ai processing it and it might want to do it from start to finish of the old video so i'm going to pause it come back once it's done and then i'm going to play it for you so that you can see it for yourself and see how easy it is to do tracking in capcut pc okay so i'm back in the video as you can see if you notice if you watch it closely you see it's trying to move along with him trying to follow his moves left right center just to make sure he gets every bit of it correctly i'm going to pause it back i just needed to show you this part because this is going to be happening in your video once you're doing the tracking and when it's done we'll just come back and show you the full video so we are back the tracking is almost done as you can see in the timeline so let's wait for it to finish and we'll see how the finish works look like so it's not complicated to track so you see it's trying to track back to the beginning remember as you can see if you look closely you see there's an orange line that's because we didn't study tracking from the beginning of the video which you usually want to do depending on how much you want to track you always want to track forward and backwards and ensure you start from the beginning of the clip except for this case i wanted the tracking to start from it so that i can play it from the beginning and show you how it's going to look i'll pause it again and once it's done or should i just leave it i think i should just leave it so that you see it once it gets here it's going to stop the tracking and we are going to have full footage we can look at together and you understand every bit of it i don't like to cut things out of my videos generally so that you can understand it better so i think it's it's done now and it's gonna just 
drag back to the beginning so that we can have a complete video so i'll just pause it so that i don't keep you sitting some of us are quite old no matter if we sound young but we don't need to keep sitting on one thing we want to learn other things in CapCut pc right so let me just pause it and we'll get back once it's done yes so i have to come back it's almost done so we should have it now cool so now we have the tracking the tracking complete and now if we hit play this is welcome back welcome back david here again in this video i'm going to be showing you how to blow video background in CapCut PC. I don't want to waste your time like in all my lectures I've showed you so far, except it's the complicated ones where we need to take time to understand it better. We'll just go straight right to it. So I'm going to be using this dancing lady once more for this example. As you can see, she's just in a green background, but if you look at the background closely, you see the background is not blood and how do we now make it work so first thing first we want to get out the um, background because we're going to be doing it in two ways you can actually go down and just you know go straight down to the end and you see motion blur and then you have canva you have canva you have list you can actually blow so if you click on blow it's going to show you the different blow you can apply to the image depending on how much you want it and it's going to auto blow this clip okay so it's going to auto blow this clip and if we go that's one way of doing it you can make it a different so it says blow has been added to the clip that's just one way of doing it but i notice this way it does not really add blur to it because it's acting uh, adding motion blur so the best way to actually do it is to come to effects and now we want to find the blur we'll just go down see where it says blur surface blur okay we have surface blow we have this i think there's another one called ula blow or something like that all right let's see if we can find that okay i don't know where it is right now but because they had a lot i really don't know i just have to find it out and find a particular one and we'll just go on from there and work with it so let's add it to this image and see uh, I don't think this is it. Give me a minute. Let me pause this, get back, and show you where it is. So we are back. So the particular blur you want to be looking for is the one that said "Hello Blur." So you just want to click on that, and it's going to add that blur effect. As you can see, it has added that blur effect. So if we drag it to the end of this video, this is what we we'll get, right? So now, what do we do next? We'll go back to import and bring in our video all right and we want it to be on top of that we don't want the blur on this image but it's not going to work that way because we have to remove the background so what do we do we get rid of all this i'm showing you every simple step so that you know what to do we'll bring this back in like so we'll go to remove background chroma key because it's a green screen if it's not a green screen you use auto remover i'm going to pick the color out like that and i will get this out and i'll just set this to about 29 and that should work for us so now that we have this we're going to export this first okay so just do blur no blur all right so i'll just save that as snow blur once i save that as snow blur i'm going to blur this particular one and then we can add in the third image okay so let's wait for it to finish i hope this video is not too long for you but i'm sure you're learning from it so let's just wait for it to finish let's pause <laughs> 
okay so we are back now that we have that we are going to blow this particular one let me cancel this okay so we are back and still recording so now i'll add the blur effect to this one okay we just take that to the beginning click on it chroma key we have chroma key back and then i will just find the other blur this is it so i'll just add that like so so now that i have that we'll just combine the two layer do ctrl a and we'll do combine clip create combine clip so now we have combine clip we're going to go to import and we're going to import the one we removed the background so let me go to my videos and just find the one I removed the background okay no blur this I'll just bring it in and once we have that in I'll just add it okay to the top like so all right so we have it to the top okay as you can see it's telling us to remove the background so I'll just remove the background I like to process because obviously remove the background and put a black there I would like to process and once it's done processing we'll have a very good image we can work with let me pause that okay so we are back we've removed the background and now we see we have this image and if we play it it looks something like this see as you can see so it's not totally blowing it out let me pause it and show you without this one so this is how it looks without it and this is how it looks with this surface on it so you have that effect if you want the effect or if you just want to have the blur you have all of that in it and you can use other blur effects in CapCut, but this is just one of it and i hope you enjoyed it and we did take a lot of time just about seven minutes thanks for watching see you on the next one welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make very smooth slow motion effect in CapCut pc this is not going to take your time it's super fast super easy you just need a very simple trick okay so this is the video i brought into my timeline let me play it for you okay so this is it you can see it's fast and it's moving because it's about five seconds so i'll just take it to the beginning of the frame again so now what we're going to do is to click on this video clip you come over to this panel where you see video audio you click on speed all right you click on speed and you're just going to reduce this speed as you can see you just reduce it if you want it 50 percent slower you click on it like that so as you can see we've increased the length from five seconds which we added before as i said in the beginning to 10 seconds okay it was five seconds when it was here right and if you notice when it was five seconds we didn't have this slow motion part i'm going to show you how to do that because we need it to make this slow motion really smooth so now let's put that about in the middle 10 seconds okay we can make it slower than 10 seconds but then you want to click on smooth slow me all right so we we'll click on smooth slow me and it's going to give you as you can see it's processing it's processing it's going to give you frame blending so it's going to be super smooth it doesn't it's not going to look computerized at all and you're going to see how easy it is to do this in, inside CapCut super easy not complicated i'm gonna pause to get back and show you what the end result looks like 
okay we are back as you can see slow mo applied and now if we go and click from the beginning you see it's frame blending you can do optical longer time better quality that's what i usually want to have it at longer time better quality so it's going to process it again and give you a better quality you always want to have it at better quality trust me that is the best way to go all right so if we play this for instance this is what we get now you can see it's super slow and it's giving that very good slow mo all right well i was always ensure you are with that optical flow this one is generic that's ai it's ai process but this is it is ai but a better version if you like process it's gonna go in process it and give you a better version of it trust me and it's gonna be easier as you can see it's processing i'm gonna pause again and let it do its thing and we'll come back and you see the difference between the two so let's pause it so we are back and we've been able to apply the optical flow and now i'll play it for you and you're gonna see how it looks with optical flow so let's play it as you can see with optical flow it's moving very smooth you can see even the, the, the little object that passed through the screen we saw it move okay let's get let's move it a bit okay so yeah if you notice just watch around here you can see this object this object we didn't notice it in the last clip but see what happened let me play it from here and you see it pass you see it blow past the screen that's how cool this optical slow is and this is how to do slow mo effect in CapCut pc i hope you enjoy this i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to make a video clip faster in CapCut pc without wasting much of your time let's get straight right to it so i'm going to import this clip and i will play it for you so you see it for yourself okay so you can see this is the clip you can see is it's faster right it's fast sorry it's fast so we want to make it faster so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to speed and i'm just going to increase it depending on what you want just increase it okay 2x if you notice from about 11 seconds it was if we increase it by 2x it turns and reduce to 5 seconds if we, we can increase it by more okay right so we can increase it by more and we just have that and ensure you have keep patch selected and now if we go to the beginning and we play it this is what we get so you can see it's faster extremely fast now not not so fast but it's fast and you can keep on increasing it like that if you want it to be faster than what it is already you can increase it but just know depending on the video once you hit more than 2x it tends to take out this and this is what you get you see currently speedway does not support okay current speed does not support speed patch so it's slower it's faster it's faster now but this is how it looks okay so that is just how it's gonna look so that is how to make video faster in CapCut pc thanks for watching this short tutorial i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to do the freeze frame effect in CapCut pc this effect is super interesting when you want to add a professional feel to a particular scene in your clip you can do this effect and it's quite simple it's done with CapCut ai and it's unbelievable believably good so for this one we're going to be using this image we've used in the past 
I'm just going to move. For instance, I want to freeze uh, when that's when our clothes seems to be flying like so this area. So I'm just going to do control control B and hit that and you can just move that again. You might not necessarily need to split the screen, but I like to do that. So do control B. So I want my split my freeze frame to start from this part okay so now what i'm going to do as you can see if you look at this you see split split to the right split to the left delete this is the one we want to click on it says freeze so i'm going to hit on that and as you can see it has frozen this part of the image okay so if you want to make the freeze longer you can actually increase it or reduce it okay so you can see we didn't really need to split the screen but i like to do that sometimes because that is where i wanted to start here so now let's just split from the beginning and you're going to see how this effect worked out for us so let's split from the beginning you see that's the freeze and action you can see it was back at it again so if you want the freeze if you want the freeze to be shorter Maybe for instance, you want to add a text to this freeze, you can make it longer or shorter. If you want to reduce the freeze, you can just drag like that. It's going to reduce it by one second. So this is what you get now. And our video reduces. Okay, this effect works. Maybe for instance, someone is skating or about to take a shot, maybe playing soccer, football or basketball, about to dunk. And you can just freeze when the ball was or when the person is about to hit the ball and you freeze that frame and write this is about to get epic and then it plays again and you see that action so that was our free frame work i hope it was very easy for you and you'll be able to do this now and create lovely professional videos using freeze frame thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one stay safe Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change a video dimension in CapCut PC. This process is really, really simple. Once again, we're going to be using one of these clips. For instance, maybe we want to use this. Let's, let's use this. Let's use this. So I'm going to bring it into the timeline. As you can see, we have it in the timeline. The next thing you want to do is to hit on ratio okay you can see where it says ratio you hit on that and from here you can change it to whatever you want it's currently original you can make it six by nine sixteen by nine is the original right you can make it four by as you can see you made it four by three and you can increase the image just to ensure it covers this full border but if you're okay with the border you just need to change the ratio of the video then this is how to do it this is the process of doing it the simple way changing the dimension of your video so we can just go through some other dimensions as you can see like i said this is a better way of doing this once for instance if you if you make it a 2 by 35 and you increase it like this you can just move it down okay so that it fits perfectly just like this and you have your you know you have your dimension that way you can also change it to every other dimension we have here it's totally up to you what you want but this is the simple way of changing ratio changing dimension and if you have one need one for your reels and your tiktok your instagram reels your youtube shorts this is the one you want to click on the 9.16 okay so now you have 9.16 you can just position that in the middle okay and now that we have that position in the middle you can just you know scroll down on your video then basics just to fill in this black background that's what i want to show you and you scroll down to where it says um auto framing uh, no motion blur okay yeah. canva okay we said canva you can just say it says none you can click on that and you can just you know just make it blur 
okay so it's totally up to you you can make the canva blow like this so you see it added that extra frame at the top and bottom if you want it darker that's what you get so now if you just play this video this is what you have so you have your youtube reel then you have it playing in the background it's super easy super simple to do not complicated this is how to change your dimension or ratio of your video in CapCut pc i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one stay blessed Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put text behind a video subject in CapCut PC. Without wasting your time, let's get straight to it. So I'm going to bring in this clip of our dancing girl, a very popular dancing girl in this course, into the timeline. And I will duplicate this to start with. I'm going to duplicate this. So copy and I'll paste that again with Ctrl V. So now we have it duplicated. I want this in front to be without the background. So how do I do that? Since it's a green screen, we can use one method and that is remove BG and chroma key. Okay. So we're just going to click on chroma key. We're going to pick in the color, which is green in this one. And we're just going to increase the intensity. You can do that by dragging the stroke, but I'll just do it from here so that I get what I really want. Okay. So you can do that from there. If you see that is time wasting, you can also do that from here. Okay. So I have to, sorry, let me hide this. Okay. So we have, sorry, because we had the double layer. That's why it was looking like it was not removing, but we have it here now. So let me get some of our air back as you can see just 20 worked for us so i'll bring this in i'll show you that if so you're looking at it you think there's no background there's actually background if i put it off you can see we created that the next step is to bring in our text right so i'm just going to click on text default text all right default text i'm just going to hit that and for the default text it's just gonna say let me do ctrl a to highlight all like like and follow remember to like and follow if you're not doing that already if you're enjoying this course so far make sure you leave your positive feedback so we can increase it for the total length of the video and we can change the colors if we want to if you've not watched my video on very important settings you need to turn on ensure you watch that now because this is one of the reasons we need it this is the step of the video we need it so let's change the background so i'm going to change the colors of the font okay i like i'm, I'm a lover of blue uh, so I'll just try to, let's see, it's purple, yeah, let's see, okay, let's use this, it flows more. You can actually change the font if you want to, you can change the font if you want to, let's click on trending, and you can just use one cool font from here, if you want to, it's up to you, what you want to do. But I am just showing you how to do it and how to do it well. Okay, you can actually change the font. You can make it look a bit better, more creative, more unique. It's up to you what you want to do. But just make it look like that. So now we have this. And now I want this to be between these two layers. Very important. So I'm just going to drag it down. Okay, like so. Remember, if you've not watched my course or my class on best settings to turn on, make sure you find it and watch it. Those settings are very important. So now I'm going to drag it for the entire length of this video. And this is the effect we get. So let's play it from the beginning without highlighting any of this text. Right. So we're just going to play it. And this is how it looks. 
so nice right super nice super easy to do not complicated at all we have our dancing lady saying like this video follow us and drop your positive feedback who would like to see them i hope you enjoyed this simple video on how to add text behind video dancing humans thanks for watching this i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back to this video series in this one i'm gonna be showing you how to add cool watermark effects in CapCut pc add your watermark or your logo into CapCut pc and give it that transparent effect if you don't want it to be intruding in your video for this is quite simple this is just like adding overlays to your video so we're going to click on this is the for instance let's assume this is the logo we want to add we're going to move that to the top because we want it to be at the top right so now we have it there you're going to reduce the size to whatever you want it to be and we can place it somewhere here okay and we're just going to drag it for the length of the video which is how to add your watermark right then i'm going to show you how to reduce the opacity for instance because yeah, sometimes you might want it on the lady like this okay you might want on the lady like so in the middle yes like that and you want to re reduce the opacity so we we'll go to basic we'll click on it basics and we want to find opacity very important as you can see opacity and we reduce the opacity as you can see when we do that watch what goes on with the logo here we reduce the opacity like this as you can see it's almost completely gone or it's just minimal like that and that's how to add your watermark and reduce the opacity so that it does not intrude in your video except you're putting it in the side for instance somewhere here then you might not need to reduce the opacity but if you reduce the opacity this is what you get so you can see it and you can also use keyframes so that it looks like it's appearing like let me let me let me actually do that for you so let's start with 100 percent i'm gonna move this a bit to the front okay like that and then i'll add uh let me let me start adding the keyframes so i'll add keyframe number one all right i'll move it a bit and i'll reduce the opacity to about 50 so it gives you this glowing on and off effect okay so it starts to give you this glowing on and off effect keyframing is just unique it's a super unique tool you have to learn and i'm going to show you in a full course we i'm going to do keyframing mastering for everyone to watch i'm sure you look up to that it's going to be out this man so this is it so now if we go to the beginning and play it from start to finish this is what we get watch it just watch what's gonna happen see you start to get that fade effect as you can see the fade effect starts to come in it's going and back you can see it reduce the opacity okay if you've not watched my video on how to add text behind video elements or a lady like this or anyone or animals please make sure you watch that video it's super cool so you see this effect is super unique super cool not complicated at all that's how you do it that's how you make it fun that's how you add life to your watermarks and logo in your video thanks for watching once again my name is david and i will see you on the next one ensure you stay safe out there welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add lot that is l u t lot to give your video that different feel and color grading using capcut pc so this is going to be showing you how to add lots in capcut pc it's super easy not complicated i'm assuming you already have your lot downloaded the lot maybe you bought a lot or you got one for free online and you want to add it into CapCut PC. It's super easy to do, not complicated. The first step you want to do is to click on adjustment and then it might be on adjustment like this. All you need to do is to click on lot 
you click on that and you can see this is one i imported in the past you just hit on import okay and it's going to go out as you can see this is it this is the file it's always usually a cube file c u b e file so just click on it and click on open but because i already have it here you can see it's not adding for the second time but see this is the same lot we just tried adding as you can see it has added it again for us so we have two of it and we can delete if we don't want so you just right click and you hit the delete button okay and you click on confirm so the same lot same way and you can click on this now and decide to add for instance let's add an adjustment adjustment layer we just add an adjustment layer like that and we can go back to lot okay and add that lot to the adjustment layer okay so we can do compound clip okay so you can see what the lot has done already to this particular image this particular scene if we move it forward like so you see we get back to normal scene but this you can then reduce the opacity this is me teaching you how to use it okay you can reduce the opacity and just make it the way you want it to be it's up to you but this is just it if you want this to appear for the full image or for different clips in your image all you need to do is just to control and click on this too and right click create compound clip okay now that you have compound clip you can see if we copy this compound clip okay and move it to this part of the video and paste it there okay we can move it to let's say for instance this part so you can see we go from here all right just like that okay you go from this one and mention just ensure the adjustment is above that's very important if not it might not work properly you need to ensure the adjustment layer is above okay so let's do undo compound clip as you can see so always ensure the adjustment is above let's click on it separately and we can just move this like so so if we click on compound clip again let's now see the way it works create compound clip okay you just know how to do that i'll show you how to do that later on but I'm just showing you how to add lot to it this other part was not necessary so thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one stay blessed Welcome back my friends to another cinematic color grading CapCut PC tutorial. So it's going to be a very easy cinematic color grading CapCut PC tutorial and I'm going to go straight right onto it and create something cinematic for us to watch. Your color grading should depend on your mindset. Remember every cinematic feel you get has to do with the mood okay because we've watched so many cinematic movies in the past and we know for a fact that we'll get different looks and feel to it so not wasting your time let's start so i'm going to hit the plus and bring in this clip as you can see it's going to be short so please sit back relax don't click off and watch to the end so now let's do this right yes so now we want to go to adjustment all right and what i usually do and start with is the curve there's something i learned too earlier on and you can watch that in my previous video i like to increase the saturation to the max okay so do you see what it gives me that color already but then we need to adjust some other colors because you can see it's not yet popping as you can see so let's go to curves and this is where the magic usually happens when it comes to cinematic color grading in CapCut the curves so now let's bring in something so that you can monitor a bit so that something is the color oscillate scope so we're going to turn that on and this is what we want to monitor you see where this barrier is we want to bring it a little bit down and this we don't want it to overshoot this 
10 23 at the top so we are just gonna make points in the curves so to the top you have the white you have the black then you have the shadow highlights and mid-tone so we are just gonna adjust the highlights and the shadow okay sometimes i just like to leave the mid mid-tone where it is especially if you use a good camera it does not usually make a lot of difference so now i'm going to move this upwards to just try to push this closer to this point so I'll just do that okay as you can see i'm not over pushing it so i'm going to try to push this down just to balance it out a bit not much okay as you can see it gives it that good feeling already so we don't want to overdo it if you want to get black out you can just move this a bit like that all right you can do that little and you can also reduce the white in the image okay as you can see reduced a lot of the white and now once we're done with that we can come back to basics and then we walk from here remember you always want to turn on skin tone so that it does not affect this skin of whoever is in this video or image so we're going to turn that on very important and then we'll move down all right so you see we have saturation we have temperature you can now try to reduce saturation if you want or if you still want the saturation up there then it's fine but i like it at 37 most times it works then temperature this is where it gives that extra cinematic but it does not pop because we're going to do that in the hsl tab so we'll just work with the temperature as you can see all right so this temperature you can make it more to the blue temperature code or you make it somewhere like that but for me, most cinematic feel to me is always warm. Except it's a night scene. This is a cool afternoon in summer, so it should be warm, right? For the all, I can bring this a bit to the green. Like so. You can also take it there, but if I bring it to the green part, it should work better. Okay so that's where i want it to be let's leave that 13 then let's go to the hsl so now you can now work with individual colors as you can see she has this blue code so we can bring that color out by increasing the saturation on that as you can see if we reduce it we take that blue out totally but if we do increase it we get it in there all right all again you can reduce or increase to give it that pink sky so it's totally up to you what you want to do brightness we can leave that i just want to make the blue pop because blue is the more prominent color in here okay so we have that then we can go over to green green is for the grasses as you can see so if we increase the saturation you see all of a sudden that's where because green is the most dominant color in this sh shot once i increase it it changed this video totally as you can see bringing it to life so we can do that with the all to just change it to a different color whatever we want we can change it to that blue so you see the way we brought it out made it greener and now it's differentiated from this far end colors which is perfect okay we have no red but you can see these flowers they have a bit of red so we can try to make that pop and see if it works okay a little it works a little so it's something we can just play with so it worked a little and now that we have that we can now go back we might want it bright like this let's just show what, what we've done so if i go from here so this is what we'll have you, you see as we brought it to life simple 
then you can go over and reduce other things like brightness okay if you want to make it a bit dark okay you can do that if you want to make it bright which you don't want to do because once you do that remember what i said in the beginning you're overshooting this barrier and you don't want that so you can just make it a bit bright i think the brightness is okay contrast okay i think that is okay too highlight all right so that for me is okay shadows okay so we have a perfect looking image now and we just have to do one more thing this vignette if you want the vignette you can put in vignette it's up to you if you don't want it you can take it out fade just does what fade does reduce it making it feel more in the zone right and particles it just add grain to the image as if you can see if you look closely to this top part you see what i'm talking about so we can reduce that sharpness you can also reduce that but it can also destroy your image so be really careful when you do that so we just reduce that to about one not too much i don't want it to be too sharp and there you go see you on the next one stay blessed cap cut pc so so i'm gonna bring in this clip as you can see let me play it for you so that you can see it for yourself you honestly never know i've had some crazy deep yes so this is the the clip and now i'm gonna bring it to live and to do that you know what i always start with i come to these three dots and i click on color solid scope and i turn that directly on. okay so what am i looking for as you can see a lot of color out i'm basically looking at this i want to try to move this up all right so to do that i need to go to adjustment all right so let's move to adjustment then curves very important so now that we are in curves i've explained this before but i'll briefly explain it again so from the top is your white highlights mid-tone shadow and the blacks so you can get the black out of your image by moving this upward and you can get the white out of your videos by moving this downwards okay but for me i'm just gonna create two dot two dots sorry on the highlight and one for the shadows because that's what i want to work with i want to get that s curve so now let's move on to the highlight and just move it up if i want to move that up because i want it okay i want to see this below graph you can see it's, it's down here i want it to come somewhere here this level is good the highlight or say the shadow is quite good not bad at all but we'll try to increase this a bit not overdoing it so let's do that let's increase it okay so we try to increase it not too much okay we don't want to overdo it we just want it to be a little bit better and then we'll reduce the shadows okay perfect so this is this is perfect we don't want to overdo it as you can see it's just beneath that line okay it's just beneath that line so think i'm okay with what i have right about now like i said if you want to reduce the white in the image you can reduce the white in the image a little okay you can and if you want to reduce the black you can also do that by increasing this so you can see already without even adding the colors the colors are coming to life already and this is where we want to go over to basic again and adjust some temperature and shadows okay so let's start with saturation watch this cup while i increase the saturation if i reduce the saturation it gets the red totally out as you can see but if i increase it 
okay so we are halfway there we can totally take it up if that's what we want and it's cool there we can also increase the temperature okay giving some skin tone and yes as you can see to the top you see where it says skin tone protection you always want to have that turned off to protect your skin so if i click on that let's see what happens as you can see it's going to protect the skin so even if we adjust this a little putting some temperature to the image is going to make sure the screen is protected then you can actually move this if you want the skin you know a bit just color grading exactly is what you make it be you want it to be what you want it to be I hope you understand that so now please watch to the end now we have it this way we are good with it you can increase other stuff you can play with other stuff the highlight brightness and the rest okay you can reduce that it's totally up to you you can increase brightness you don't want to overdo that as you can see remember to always watch this you don't want to overshoot it so we can just reduce that a bit all right and then the contrast you might want to reduce that too right i think i like it at seven seven yes yeah, seven is my best number actually but i'm just saying so we we'll reduce this and we we'll just make this shadow you can increase the shadow or reduce it to about three okay and we can take it to about minus six minus five or minus seven right so now you can see if we've gone we've already gone from let me show you where we've gone from we've gone from this to this from this to this so you see we've already done a lot with this and it's looking great already if you want to stop there if you, you can do that you can see you can actually increase the blacks the white for instance there's white on this cup if you want to increase that like i said this is i think this is a new addition the white okay so you can actually increase the white if you want to and reduce the black if you want to but for me i'll leave that at zero and i'll reduce this i'll just leave that as it will okay it's totally up to you i'll just leave that at zero because i don't want to mess things up you so you see you have sharpening now we have clarity so CapCut pc always keep updating and that's why i keep making these color grading videos because we have new things we can test out you can see sharpening you can just sharp, sharpen a little okay i don't like to overdo it because if you overdo it this is what you get but if you just make that a little like say one it gives you that and clarity you can also you can see how good clarity makes it now look okay so you can just reduce that a bit CapCut AI possibility is just spectacular and you get what you want okay now we have that we can go over to the HSL tab and now play with the colors the more you can actually add more red to the cup by increasing saturation here okay as you see can make the cup more vibrant if you want or you can actually reduce it if you want so it's totally up to you but for me i'll just leave it at 57 i'll just leave it at 57 so you see the cup is more vibrant and if there were blues or orange and the rest i'll just go over and see if okay like let me show you something before i increase the green watch this plant here and this because it has a little green so once i increase that it tends to work for it if i reduce that you see it gets those green colors out of the plant the plants are here but once i increase it it makes it vibrant again as you can see so color grading is super easy not complicated at all just take the steps i've showed you and you'll be able to do that see you on the next one stay blessed Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you 
how to add music in CapCut PC. So this is going to be a class on how to add music to video on CapCut PC. It's super easy. So this video is going to be short. This lecture will be definitely short. So to do that, all we need to do is to import the music we want. For this, I'm going to be using a free to use music. Make sure that's what you're doing, a license free music or someone you've paid for. So for this, I'm just going to find in my video folder a folder with effects. So I'm going to be using this particular one. So I'll just bring that in. All right. So I'll bring that in like so. And now all I need to do is two things, two things. I'll bring it in by clicking this plus sign. As you can see, it has added it here. As you can see, it's very long, so we want to trim that. So to trim that, we would go and trim that. Right, we'll trim that. I'm going to show you, we do Control B. Okay, we don't need this again, so we delete that. And now you can see this is our music track. You can then reduce the volume two ways by reducing it. You can see where it shows that double arrow, you just click and pressing down your left mouse click button and dragging your mouse down you can reduce that the second way to reduce the volume is by using the slider where it says volume and you just reduce the slider a bit in subsequent videos i'm going to show you how to fade in and fade out but this is how to add music to video in CapCut. so if we play it from beginning now this is what we'll get super easy not complicated thanks for watching this video i will see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back so i showed you how to add music in video on CapCut pc super easy way if you've not watched that video ensure you find it and watch it because you need it because you need to give life to your professional videos so in this one i'm just going to quickly show you how to add in fade in and fade out to your music track you imported already into your video so let's increase this a bit if you're using your headset, ensure you reduce your volume so that it does not get too loud for you. You don't want it to be too loud, okay? So now what we're going to do is, for instance, if it's selected on your video, you want to click on your track, the music track. You click on that and you have two options. You see fade in and fade out. So what you want to do, it depends on how you, where you want the fade out to start. You can make it one second spot. I want you to watch this area where it says this is the fading area right once i move this slider just see what happens it creates that gap so it's not going to start from the total beginning you can create a three seconds gap okay or 1.7 seconds and we can also create a 1.7 seconds end gap it's going to create a gap okay a fade out here for another 1.7 seconds or you can make that even more than 1.7 seconds but i'll just leave that 1.7 seconds so now if i play this video instead of the music playing from the beginning it plays after 1.7 seconds it starts coming in slowly as you will hear now so you see there was a real increment but not so obvious so if you take this to let's say let's take it to three okay 3.1 i will move it to the beginning and play again let's see it this time you can see it's very soft to the beginning then it's increased at the beginning so that's how to do fade in and fade out of audio in CapCut pc i hope this was interesting and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial super short tutorial i hope it really helps you elevate your editing to the next level stay blessed see you on the next one david loves you welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add beat to your background music for better transition for instance you see all this fast paced edit you see online that's 
change scenes based on the beat i will show you how to do it so that you can go out and practice for yourself so to do this all you need to do is to get either the beat for instance if we are using this you then see where it says it shows you this flag and says auto beat all you need to do is to click on auto beat and you're going to choose how much of the beat do you want to create if it's small if it's a lot if it's a lot you just click on beat 2 and it's going to load and try to create beat portions which you can use to split your video scenes into those sharp bass or sharp sound and it gives you that extra feel of change in scenery and change in view and scene and gives you that effect that the video is professional like you can see now it has gone out and created all these bits you see in purple they were not in the video before but now they are in the video so now you can use this and just split a particular video based on it like this is bit one as you can see it has highlighted you can split your video to that bit split two split three and split four like that you can just go ahead and split your video i'll show you how to split video in this full course already you can go watch it and then split the video based on the beat and add transitions and just give it that fast paced motion i hope this video was helpful i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back i hope you're enjoying the lecture so far and hope this course has been extremely helpful to you and this one i'm going to be showing you how to do text to speech easily in capcut pc okay you're going to be doing this on capcut pc the first step is to click on text okay so you click on text and you can bring in default text it's dancing ladies she's okay. super Let happy me pause that. and i'm ensuring you guys are happy too let me pause that so click on the default text and once we bring that into our editing timeline for instance we take it to the beginning let's take it to the beginning like so we can drag it for as much as we want i will just get rid of the voiceover which we have here so that it does not distract us throughout this process so now we have our default text click on it and then you see you have text tracking text to speech okay so you have text to speech and we can first of all just put in the text we want and do control a and control v okay this is the text i want i can then come over to text to speech and choose one of these voices all right so you can do Joel, you can do, you have a lot of voices you can actually pick from Professional male, you can see Jensen, Serious female, Adorable girl, you can just click on one of that and you will hear for yourself Join us in the quest for better editors worldwide Like, follow, and share to support our mission of elevating editing standards Let's create a community that fosters learning and excellence. Your engagement matters together. We can make editing an inspiring art form. So you see, so that's how it is. Now that we have it, we can just hit start record. And it's going to go out applying the text to speech to the video. And at the end, you're going to see how cool looking it is. It actually sounds real. And here we have it. It's done. So we can just go over we can out just take out this text if we don't want the text again you can take it out but we we'll still have the text to speech we made down below so i'm just going to play it from the beginning and so you see how it is and how it easy it is to create text to speech in capcut pc super easy process not complicated let's play it so that you get for yourself join us in the quest for better editors worldwide like follow and share to support our mission of elevating editing standards 
Let's create a community that fosters learning and excellence. Your engagement matters together. We can make editing an inspiring art form. So here you go, you see how easy it is. Yes, let's make this community bigger. Let's foster good relationship and make better editors for free. Okay, just show a lot of people this video series. This is one of the best out there right about now. And you can see in this video, I just showed you how to do text to speech. I hope it was helpful. I will see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Welcome back. In this lecture, I'm going to show you the simplest way to add fonts to CapCut PC. So you're going to be learning how to add good fonts to CapCut PC if the font you want to use is not in CapCut. The first step you want to do is to go over to your browser and use site like dabfonts.com. For instance, you want this skin care font, you can just hit download. It's a free font, I say 100% free. It's going to download. Okay, this is the first step. Once it's done downloading, you want to click on it and install it. All right, so let's go to the folder where it's in. And then we want to open it, double click. All right, we want to double click. Just open it like that. So this is the font, you want to click on it and install it. You see where I said install, you install it. Remember the name of the font, you close that out, you have another version, open it, double tap, click to mm -hmm. install. You already have it, so it says yes, just in case. Right, so now that we have the font, we can now go into, remember the name of this font is Skin Care, right? We can now go into CapCut. For instance, let's bring in default text again to display ad. And let's, for instance, put like and follow. Okay. So now we have like and follow. We can now go to font. It says system. You can then just choose different font. You can click on it and you have these different fonts you can choose from and we can scroll down okay we can just scroll down to what you will find the font we just downloaded sometimes you might not see it and you need to close okay you need to close and open again for you to see it but the only downside to this and which I wish was possible was being able to just search the particular font okay so you see where it says system font let's just find it skincare right so we we'll just go to s and just find it there it should be under s i don't want this video to be too long for you guys so that's why i'm trying to just make it short but at the same time make it as educative as possible so that i don't miss out any step and you guys get confused along the way that is not what i want that is not what i want at all so i want to be able to do it for you guys okay uh we should be close skin care okay should be around here you should be able to find it i'm just going to pause and come back to it so that i don't waste your time so we are back again and i had to restart the capcut pc app to ensure i get the font so i'm just going to find the font so we're just going to scroll down to system fonts remember we saved it so it's going to be added to our system fonts now and we'll just go to s since we're looking for skincare that's the name of the font we're going to scroll down to s and find it under s skincare so let's look for skincare we are close stay with me and you have it here so we can use it now click on it 
and now if we go over it you see this is the text as you can see let me bring it down for you you can see like and follow let's go back to the font to ensure it is the font we just downloaded as you can see skin care skin cake so this is a font we downloaded and this is it right here so we can use this now for any of our edits we can animate it if we want just do some quick animations on it and get it to work for us okay just loop it if we want to loop and just do some creative things with it make it fun and just you know just stay creative with your edits as you can see like and follow all right so if we play it from here this is what we we'll get now that foster sorry let's play it from here a community that fosters learning is see, excellence like and your engagement matters together we can make it see it's simple not complicated that is how to add fonts to CapCut PC. I'll see you on the next class. Stay safe. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add B rows in CapCut PC. What are B rows? B rows are those videos that are secondary to the main video. And to do that on CapCut PC is not hard at all. So for instance, we have this video. This is the primary video. I want to add B-Row to it. We can actually just cut to Ctrl B while you select this video on the timeline. Okay, so you do Ctrl B and just split the videos at some point and then you can go over and add your bureau footage to it so now we have these three videos i'm just gonna separate them so you see where it says um turn off auto snapping you can turn that off so that when you move this uh, sorry um this one turn off main track magnet okay so when you move this you get something like this it's important you turn this off this third of main graph so at the end you can now put them back if you want so you can just do something like this and it all join together but for now we want to add bureau so we need that turned off so don't forget that very important step you need the track magnet turned off okay so now we have this footage we can now go import and then import our unique style maybe this is what we want okay we can just bring that in okay we can bring that in for instance just cut it a bit here so we do ctrl b once more so we'll cut that bit and we can just bring it in here like that and then we can just add that okay can just add that and now if we play this video just from somewhere here this is what we get okay so you see that's a b-roll a quick b-roll let's play it again one more time okay so you see that's easy super easy to do not complicated at all so you can add different clips depending on what you want you can add another one in this space just split cut and add it as you add bureau you can also put it at the top here if you don't want it on that track but ensure nothing is in this space so that when you play it you have something like this Okay, so it's super easy to do. That is how to add B-roll to your video in CapCut PC. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you on the next one. Ensure you stay safe out there. Welcome back. So we go again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the video in text effect using CapCut so first let's create the text we want to use that is the first step so we we'll create the text we we'll bring in the default text and we are going to work with this so let me just change this to a cool font i already showed you 
how to add fonts in CapCut so you just want to do that for yourself so for this I want to use a bold text and yes let me use this and let me make it bigger so I'll just do like right like and follow let me do like and follow if you are not following please ensure you follow so we have like and follow we just increase it to fill in the screen like that okay so now that we have that what we need to do now is to because if you don't do this step now you would have to keep on adding the text layer in the second step so what you want to do is if your intro is going to be five seconds or the video you want to put it in it's going to be for instance 10 seconds as you can see it's three seconds here you increase it to 10 seconds okay or five seconds okay like that then you export this first that's the first step you export this this is the first step so let's just export this okay it's gonna export this is the very first step okay you add a sound that sound is from the setting which i already covered in this video series and best settings you need to turn on so if you've not done that make sure you watch that video okay so now that we have that already we don't need this again so we'll delete that and now we'll go back to import and we'll bring in video we want to use all right for instance let's say we want to use this fire stand video so let's bring that in so we'll bring that into our canva like that it's about 20 seconds this is about 20 seconds so now we are going to go in and also import that video that text video we just we just downloaded we'll get it and bring it back in okay so this is it we're just going to bring it back in and we're going to put it at the top of this not by the side it's going to be at the top so that's an overlay as you can see so you see now you cannot increase it this is just five seconds this is 20 seconds that's why i said always know the length of your video when creating the text okay so now what do we want to do we want to come over to basics we want to scroll down to blend okay so you see where it says blend we want to put that on darken okay as you can see we put it down on darken and if we scroll you realize the video as you can see let me just play it from beginning and you see we have the video playing in the background let me play it for you simple step not complicated okay so you see that as it is so if you already made the first mistake of not making your video long all you need to do is just to copy this one and you paste it again that will be the only option you have left to use with this and with that you will be able okay you would be able to get it flowing like that okay right so if we continue with this you can see it's in there again so that's the only way to do it if you've made the mistake in the beginning but if you don't make the mistake you are good to go and yeah you have it video in text effect it's super easy not complicated at all and i'm sure you love it see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you a very simple step on how to convert a horizontal video into vertical video so that's me showing you how to create vertical videos from horizontal videos in CapCut pc so we're just going to go straight right to it and create something unique so to start with i'm going to bring in a video which i've created in the past which you might have seen in our subsequent tutorials this one for instance as you can see this is a horizontal video and we are going to bring it into our timeline like this 
So now we have it in timeline. We're going to click on ratio and we're going to turn it to a 9 by 16. Okay. But now turning to a 9 by 16, this is what we we'll get. We get this black box in between and we don't want that. So we're just going to scale it okay to cover the screen and then we are going to position it okay so now for it to work properly we are going to introduce keyframe so i'm just going to click on the transform keyframe and i'm going to go frame by frame till the end and every frame we go it moves we are going to adjust it to ensure it stays in the middle like this till the end of the video so to go frame by frame all you need to do is to press down your shift key button and your ma your right key button and when you feel it's out of frame you then readjust it to come back into the middle and it's going to create a new keyframe like that so your shift key button press that down again your right click button and you keep doing this okay you keep doing this and till we get to the end of the video anytime you see it's going out of frame you keep adjusting it like so and you're going to notice it's, it's a very simple process not complicated at all it's going to help you create better videos okay it's going to help you create better videos and no one will even realize this video was once an horizontal video by the time you are done it's going to look so real it's going to look so vertical and you can use it for your instagram reel your face your youtube shorts and all short platform TikTok and the rest you will be able to use it for them and it's super easy to do as you can see super easy process not a complicated process at all and I think now we are done with it so we have it there so now if we go back to the beginning and play from the beginning we are going to get a totally vertical video without any sign it was horizontal in the beginning let's play it and see for ourselves perfect that's super easy super simple not complicated at all i hope you'll be able to create and do yours like this in the future and i'm sure by the end of this course you're going to be a super professional watching these courses watching this channel following me and liking i'll see you on the next one david loves you stay blessed welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use the brush stroke effect in CapCut pc this effect is super simple and not complicated and it's going to take your video editing game to a whole new level trust me it's not hard at all i'm just going to get straight right to it and see what happens at the end of the video you'll be able to do some cool effects that would cause people to watch your videos for longer cause people to recommend you for video editing jobs it's just quite good and i'm sure this is what this whole course is about so let's get started i'll bring in this video this is the first one i'll also bring in this one okay i'll bring in that and i'll bring in this for the third one Alright, so I'm just going to move them like that and place them just side by side. Okay, for this I don't want it to be too long because it's quite long so let me just cut them. Okay, let me put this up and just cut them to that bit. Do control B. This step is not important, it's just because I want all videos to be equal throughout this process. So now we have them all equal, right? I'm going to bring in my strokes. So these are my strokes as you can see. So I'm going to bring in this first one. Okay, so let me just put it there. I'm going to make it same size with that one i'll bring in this other stroke 
OK. I'll make it same size with this one. And then the last stroke, which has a green screen, which we are going to use a different techniques for. OK, we're going to use a different techniques for this one. It's super easy, not complicated. I'm just going to show you how to do this. So let me cut this part we don't need to start with. Because we just need this bit. So you do control B to cut that and delete. So now let's get back to the very first video. Now you see in this video, we have this there like that. Let's just increase it to fill in that screen. So now what we're going to do is to come down to blend and choose one of these blend mode. You can do darken. As you can see, now we have this, we have this effect, this cool effect, you see in this effect. So you can see how cool this effect is. Not complicated. Let's go to the second one. And we'll do same thing. For, the, for this, darking might not work. Okay, so let's see if darking work. You see darking can, did not work here. So let's try and do screen. Okay, so you see screen works here. So you have to test it out and see which ones work. The first one darkening worked for it because it had the white border. The second one screen worked for it, as you can see. So let's play it. You see cool effects, cool animation. It's super easy to do, not complicated at all. For the third one, which is the last in this series, this is how it looks, but to ensure we get the best out of it we are going to go to bg and we're going to do chroma key and we're going to pick the colors so i'm going to pick that green and i'm going to increase the intensity okay to we till we have it totally out and now if we play from beginning this is what we'll get so you can see how cool this effect are uh, not complicated at all so i'm just going to play all three videos from the beginning so you can see it for yourself let's do that So here you, here you go. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Welcome David here again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to perfectly sync audio and video on CapCut PC desktop app. It's super easy, not complicated at all. It's going to take you about one minute, but stick around because I'm going to show you how to trim your videos when you are done syncing it so that you don't have the bad audio in it and how you don't have the SS file you don't need also in it. So I'm going to be showing you how to remove all that. So I want you to stay. We're just going to spend a few minutes together and it's done. So I'm going to be bringing in the first file, which is this one. Please ensure you reduce your volume if you're using your headset. So it's going to be a bit loud, but I'm sure you're going to love it. At the end of the day, this tutorial is going to be good for anyone learning to have a professional video out there so let's play it and you hear a lot of noise let's play this yes welcome back again david here and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to okay so we add that as the first audio and let me bring in the second audio which is better but this audio has a video in the beginning and at the end so it has a different size but still the same audio but a cleaner audio without the fan noise in it so let's bring that in okay so take that up right so you can see they have different lengths different style let me hide this as you can see i'm hiding this track so that you can hear only this track so i'm going to play it again from the beginning 
Well, I don't need to play it for beginning. We just need to wait for where the audio starts and you're going to hear it right about now. It's going to play. You're going to hear the cleaner audio. Yes, welcome back again, David here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make rolling end credits in CapCut. Okay, so you see those are the two audios. One is super clean. The other one is noisy with a lot of fan noise. I'm going to show you that one now. Now what we're going to do is to highlight the two clips. To do that, you're going to click on your control key button on your keyboard. If you're on Mac, that should be command key button and press down your left mouse click to highlight both clips or you can better still do control A or you do command A. So now that you have the two clips selected, you're going to right click and using AI capability in CapCut PC, we are just going to hit on synchronize video and audio clip. So once you do that, it's going to go out there and synchronize AI function and there you have it. So you see it's matched up as you can see it made that movement and you can see we have both clips now where we want them to be. And if we go ahead and we'll trim out, so this is how to trim out the SS audio we don't need. We can go out there and just trim that out like so okay so this is where the audio ended in this one as you can see it in this little dot so we can just go and cut that out like so so we're going to do ctrl b or command b to cut that out so we have those two clip cut out we're just going to delete that part and then we can also come out and do that to the beginning here just like that so i'm just going to press my shift key button and move in a frame to the right with my right arrow key and now i have that right so i have that working for me and i'm going to select the two clips again doing ctrl a and i will do ctrl b so now i have these two clips i'm just going to delete that and also i would delete the little ss we have here so now we are just left with the bad audio and the good audio so to get rid of the bad audio like if i play it now this is what you get yes welcome back again so you're still getting the background noise so to get rid of the bad audio you just need to click on this bad audio as you can see this is a bad audio clip you can do it in two ways either you go to audio and turn down the volume here or you just reduce it totally from here it's up to you so if we reduce it from here like that so we are now if we play it again david here and we are left with the good audio but if you don't want to do it from here for instance let's say you have it there you can also move your cursor you can see where your arrow cursor is and just you see now it's showing that double arrow as you can see so now you right click sorry you left click press down your left click button and move your mouse downwards you see so it happens here whatever you do here automatically happens here yeah, so just watch this place where i reduce it with my left mouse click button dragging my mouse down so now if we play it and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make rolling end credits in CapCut pc you're going to be learning okay so you see it's super easy so now because this is the video clip obviously i'm going to move that up and take the audio um, was so now we have the audio remember that's what you want to do don't make that mistake and just leave it there so now if we play these two clips you're going to see you're going to be learning too okay so this is it let's bring it in by clicking on the plus sign as you can see we've perfectly synchronized the audio and the video together in CapCut PC I hope this was fun to you and for you if you enjoy watching this tutorial, make sure you check my channel for other tutorials like this and I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to make thumbnails using CapCut PC. So you see, maybe for instance, you're creating a YouTube video using CapCut or you just want to have a cover for the unique videos you've edited and you don't want to go through software like Photoshop or Canva, you can actually create yours directly from CapCut PC and I'm going to show you right how to do it now. 
let's go so you look down here you see where it says cover this usually appears on the main video clip it usually appears there that does not mean all these other things or these other unique edits we've done won't appear on it so we just need to click on that and it's going to give you two options either you go local all right either you go local or you select from video obviously i'm showing you how to do it from video so i don't need to go local but you can do it is an option so you just click on select from video okay sorry about this sorry about that breaking transmission so you can select from video so for me i can just select one she's happy if one of these frames like this one for instance she's smiling she's happy and then i can just click on edit so once you click on edit this is what you get this is the frame we picked and then you can choose from different templates depending on what you want it's totally up to you what you want to do with your thumbnail what you really want you can choose different thumbnail and it's going to appear there like so depending on what you really want it's not a complicated process you might just want it like that you might want it like this so all you need to do now when you get to this stage is just to change the text like for these these are the recommended ones you can scroll down and see more for yourself and you can just pick from anyone that suits you like this is another one for instance you can just pick if you want a very simple one like this you can as well pick that it's not complicated at all this is how it's gonna look it's just you and your creativity and working with what seems to be best for you so we can use this or we can use this one also and now you can just move this text downwards if this is where you want it you can move it text downward like this you can actually change the font you can change the style you can change things around right you can just it works just like canva but this is directly on CapCut PC you can then change the font if you don't want this font you can change it from here you can upload extra elements as you can see it's more it's looking like Canva but this is CapCut working is magic and once you are done you can just hit on save and it's going to save it for you and it's going to be in your video as you can see here so now when you export when you export like let's try to export and see what happens when you export this video for instance it's going to export two files one is going to have the cover and one is with the video so i'll pause this and come back to you when it's done so we are back i can now go to my video section and if i scroll down this is it this is the folder so once i click on that folder I have it here and here you go you can see it clearly this is the thumbnail we created it's downloaded it's rendered also with the folder okay so we have it there ready for us to use not complicated at all right not complicated at all it's super easy super easy as you can see this is it it didn't take us a lot of time about four minutes that's because i'm just showing you step by step how to do it obviously once you watch this video you will know how to do it it won't take you more than two three minutes to get this done for yourself and you have your thumbnail and you don't need to go out to create a different thumbnail i hope this video was helpful i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back family in this video i'm going to be showing you how to remove black background in CapCut pc desktop app this process is super easy and it will really help you transform your video editing game it's not complicated it's super easy let's just get straight right to it so first i'm going to bring in this fire video which i have it has a sound as you can see 
after the sound i'm not playing it yet i'm gonna bring in this video which has the back black background so i'm just gonna bring that in and then for this video i'll click on it i'll go to blend and this is where i want to work the magic so from blend you see it's on default you want to change that to skin okay you want to change that to screen so this is what you have now okay so if if i go back and put it back on default this is the way it looks you can't see the video in the background right but then once i change it to screen this is what we have it's super easy not complicated and let's play it from beginning so you can see it for yourself super easy now you've transformed your editing you've removed the black background and now you have a complete video without a back black background and you can use it in any form or way you can even add shake animation to it if that's what you want to do let's add some quick shake animation to it using keyframes okay let's do some quick animations i love animations they tend to give videos super edge so let's let's do one here okay let's let's make one here and just move it about okay and let's move it forward again and just shake it about all right so we'll just do that shake it again and we can also reduce it and we do that again shake it about reduce it okay and now let's do the final one which is going to come to the middle and then it's going to scale out so let's do that like that all right so now if i go to the beginning and play it you're going to be shocked what we are getting from this it's going to be super cool effect watch it let's play it simple effect and you've elevated your video editing skills i hope this was helpful thanks for watching this tutorial uh, this course on how to remove black background in capcut pc i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back to this very short and straightforward tutorial in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to mirror videos in CapCut PC. That is to say how to flip your video horizontally. Like for instance, you can see they are both placed in the side of the screen. We can flip them to this side of the screen very easily and it won't take time at all. So to do that, you have to click on your video. You import your video to the timeline, obviously. Once you click on it, you are going to, you know, rotate or you're gonna mirror it let me use mirror not rotate so we just click on that as you can see so it took it from this side putting them on your right hand side to the left hand side so if that's the way you want it and now when we play the video this is what we get so it's moving from left to right it's still from right to left like we have it here as you can see the man was on the right here but then after mirroring it it's now on the left so that's just a very simple way of mirroring video in CapCut PC for better editing if you need your object or subject to a different part of the screen you can do it in CapCut PC I hope this was interesting I'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make images and elements move in CapCut to give you that lively feel when it comes to video editing and to start with i'm going to be using this compu panda 4 
which is coming out on my birthday 8 of March so yes you can drop your wishes I appreciate so to start with we are going to be doing something unique I'm going to be starting from a scale in like this and I'm going to be clicking on the transform so I'm going to be clicking on this keyframe because we are going to be using keyframe and going on from there so we are just going to be moving in that's the first keyframe we want to move the play head to somewhere here and move it back again okay and you want to keep doing that you want to keep doing that until you get to 100 percent it's a very simple way i'm also going to show you how to smooth in the keyframes because it's very important to smoothen it out okay so we have it there if we now played from the beginning this is what we get so you can see but it's not smooth here so to make it smooth all we needed to do is to click on this keyframe okay double tap on this keyframe okay Well, I should be able to open this keyframe, but it's not letting me do that anyways. But usually, when we click on this, show keyframe animation. Okay, so this is the keyframe here. This is the first one. So you want to smooth in this one. Okay, so you want to do, you want to bring down this menu show keyframe graph because you just want to smoothen it out and uh, you want to do auto curve okay want to do auto curve there for this keyframe you just want to do auto curve all right so for this other one too you want to do auto curve That way you have a better, a smoother image to it. Okay, we'll do for the Y axis because sometimes, okay, the rotate, is it rotate? No, transform. We should be doing for transform, right? Let's see, for transform. Sorry, we've been doing the wrong one. It's scale. We'll do for scale so now we want to since it was scaling we were working with that's what we want to do that's why i always like you to watch this video so we're going to do auto keyframe here all right and for these two we're going to do auto keyframe just this one just a little bit just to give it that smooth effect auto keyframe again and we'll do it for this one and we'll do auto keyframe and once we are done we can just close that out and close that okay so now if we go back and play from the beginning it's going to be smoother just watch this okay so that's how it is it's smoother now not complicated that's just one way of doing it we can also bring in this one and just do something similar with it okay we just make it fill the screen like that and this we can just move it from one side of the screen to another for instance from this side of the screen so that's where we'll put our first keyframe they will move then we can do that and move okay and we'll move it to this edge again and then we'll move down and we'll do downwards and we can do this again then for the final one we can just scale it back up okay we can just scale it back up to 100 we can just scale it back up to 100 okay so let me just change that to 100 okay so now we have that and we can just put that in like that okay and let's fill the screen up so now we have all those keyframes and if we play it from the beginning this is what we'll get okay so you can see how cool it's looking simple not complicated at all that is how to make images and elements move 
in CapCut PC. I hope you enjoyed this course. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to merge layers and clips in CapCut, how to merge clips in CapCut PC. I hope that will not convince or confuse you. It's just a simple process. For instance, we have these individual clips now on the timeline. You can see they are all individual. I can move them about the same way. Let me add this also. So you can see if I move this, it moves only this particular clip but to m ensure we can work with the three together if we want them together we can just put them side by side like that and we can do ctrl a so now that we have ctrl a we just right click on one of the clip and we group it okay just do ctrl g it's as simple as that so now that we have these three group, or if you do ctrl a then ctrl g automatically these three are grouped together this note this is not um what we we'll call um i've forgotten what they call it now Cre we are not creating compound clip here we are grouping here so so now we have grouped these together so they can actually now move together as you can see so that is how to merge clips together in CapCut pc is not complicated at all and now we can just move this around and just put it up or down okay so that's how it works and i hope it was easy and you understand it better now i'll see you on the next one stay safe welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you how to put videos side by side in CapCut PC. This is a very, very easy step but we need the masking tool to make it cool. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So we have two clips and this is one of them. So I'm going to put that there and the second clip would be this one which would put up there like that. So what we want to do, we want to work with the first clip and we want to go to max right i want to select horizontal max all right so now we're going to flip this first okay so make sure this is out of the way so that you can see what you're actually working with right so you see we have this first clip here it's out of the way and we can just you can scale it if you want to but if you just want it like this so let me just try and make that 90 i don't know why my hand is flipping upwards let me make it let me just adjust this the rotation to 90. okay so we have the first one it's at 90 we can now bring in this one do same thing and then just move otherwise okay so we have two videos side by side and now we can go back to basics and we can decide to scale this one down okay and uh, we have it to the side like that okay but because we did the max game first we can correct that like much but this is just to show you how to put them side by side any which way if you want to correct this you have to go back to masking and just do none okay and then you can just move this perfectly to the side and remax re it okay so we can just move it perfectly like that and i showed you how to mirror it so you can just mirror it okay so we have it there okay and we'll do this again and just rotate it like that okay so we just rotate it like that and it's easy it's not complicated it's something you can easily do say no okay so we just put it like that and let's max it back so we just turn it like so okay so we have 90 we can go back to basics and we can move it just like this 
we'll do same thing with this one we can remove the marks no marks okay but we need to hide this clip so that we can see the clip we're working with so now we're just going to resize this oh, no marks right so we are just going to flip it to the other side like so and move it okay we'll just move it like this all right and now we can add back the marks to it okay we can add, add the marks back to it like that and when we go back to basics we can just bring that in and also bring this in like that okay i don't know if the marks disappeared here but you just have to fix it if it does sorry about that break so now we are back and now you just have these two clips together you can go back to basics and just do little adjustment to it okay you can do little adjustment also to this one you can bring it forward like so with little adjustment and we have those two clips side by side okay it's as simple as that it's not complicated and if we play the two together we just have something like this okay that's just one way of doing it there are so many ways you can do this but this is one way i hope it was helpful anyways thanks for watching this one i'll see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to crop video in CapCut pc this process is super easy not complicated and you can easily do it by starting with importing your track like we have this track already the next thing you want to do is to come over here and it says crop ratio okay so you want to do this you want to crop it you have to follow these dots either you press on your left mouse click button and move it to this side and position it where you want it to be if that's how you want it you can do that and just position it somewhere like this so now it gets out all this extra space and now you have your cropped image and all you need to do is to confirm okay once you hit confirm as you can see it has cut out all this extra space and made it smaller as you can see now it's cropped out and we just have the middle part going okay i already showed you how to put your subject in frame so make sure you watch that lecture if you skipped it and you understand how to do that better but this is just me showing you how to crop video in CapCut pc have a wonderful day stay blessed david loves you welcome back in our last video first i want to say sorry about the sound if you hear any background sound this was a last minute video so that's why it's happening and there's a lot of sound around me i'll try and get it out but if i can bear with me so in this video i'm going to show you how to reverse video in CapCut pc this process is super easy for instance let's bring in this video once again i'll be working with this clip and you guys should know this clip by now this is my color grading clip so you can check that on the channel or in this course so this is the video we have we want to reverse it all you need to do is to come here and it says reverse click on reverse and it's going to go out reversing the clip and once it's done you're going to see it's going to start from the back instead of the front so let's just wait for it to completely render so that we can see it for ourselves and see how fast it renders this and reverses the video clip it's almost done now and it didn't take us about one minute one minute plus so now the video is ready it has been reversed and if we play it this is what we get okay so you can see she's moving backwards now instead of going forward so that's simply how to reverse video in CapCut pc by now you should have gotten a lot of these skills and now you should be able to direct edit and produce your very own professional looking video that stands out from the crowd i hope you've enjoyed the course 
till now and i would like to see your feedback i would like to hear from you i would like to, your positive reviews on this course and let's let's communicate let's talk if you have edit you've made and you want maybe you have a question just let me know and i'll work on it see you on the next one stay blessed I'm sure you clicked on this video because you want to take your video editing skills using CapCut PC to the very top and stand out from the crowd with unique edits. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a voiceover on CapCut PC. This is going to be a very short tutorial, so I want you to watch the end. I'm not going to take your time and we are starting now. So in this video, we have this dancing lady I've always used. You should know her on this channel already and as i would play this clip you would see we just have the music there and now i want to add voiceover directly from capcut pc i want to record voiceover in capcut pc so to do that all you need to do is scroll to where you see this microphone it says voiceover you're going to click on it if you are doing it for the first time this is what you get so you can see my mic is all set make sure you put the mic you want to use and the volume you also want to use so you can also turn on echo reduction if your room is not soundproof you want to turn echo reduction on all right and you want to enhance your voice automatically remove echo pop and all you also want to set that on once you are ready to go all you need to do is to hit this record sign and ensure you put your play head at the beginning of where you want it to be as you can see it's at the beginning of my video here and i'm going to hit record and it's going to give me a countdown and we are going to start in three two one hey welcome look at this dancing lady she's super happy and i'm ensuring you guys are happy too stay happy follow the channel like and share this video if you're just seeing it for the first time let's get to 1000 follower thanks okay so now we have our voiceover we can close this as you can see our voiceover is being enhanced and it will not take time at all this is all ai process it's going to process it for us it's going to ensure we have the very best voiceover this is part one of this course i'm also going to show you how to add mr beast kind like captions on it auto captions on it in our next video it might be mr beast might be anybody i'm just going to show you how to add unique cool captions that will make your video stand out i'll pause this for a moment and allow it to process and we'll come back and continue from where we'll stop happy follow the channel like and share this yes so we're back it's done editing and done processing now you have the audio so i'm just gonna play it back for you to see and hear how it sound and that will be it so let's play it so you can see for yourself hey welcome look at this dancing lady she's super happy and i'm ensuring you guys are happy too stay happy follow the channel like and share this video if you're just seeing it for the first time let's get to 1000 follower thanks okay that is it you saw how easy it was to do this not complicated at all didn't take us more than three minutes to get it done if you enjoyed this video make sure you watch other videos on the channel make sure you like and follow i'll see you in the part of this video where i add caption to the video stay blessed hello and welcome david here you clicked on this video because you want to know the very important settings you need to turn on CapCut pc to ensure your editing process is smooth and efficient and i'm going to be showing you these settings right about now so that you never go into problems when you edit your videos starting from today so if you know you want to be a pro editor and you want to always edit smoothly without having lags delays and layer errors then this video is for you let's get started so to start with you have the screen this is the screen you are greeted with when you first open CapCut pc so now you want to go to setting this icon you say settings i want to start from settings and that will be the first tab 
you're going to be turning on the settings so make sure you follow me step by step throughout this process okay so under setting the first place we want to visit is called draft all right under draft you always want to auto delete cash from your system every now and then this helps gives your cap cut space to edit faster to render faster as you can see mine is set at 30 days you can set yours to 15 days which i recommend it will clear the chest and it will make your editing process faster so it will keep clearing this chest as you can see all the edits i've done so far this period is just about 321 mb i can click that and delete that now and it's going to delete that for me that does not mean it's going to delete all the projects we have done it's just deleting the ss cache we don't need in this video so i'm going to wait for that to remove completely and then we'll move on to the next setting you must turn on to ensure CapCut pc moves and um, moves and edit smoothly on your system okay so we are back and now we have cache size zero that is the first step now we want to move on to the edit tab now i want you to pay attention to this tab because it is very important okay the first thing i would want you to turn on is where you see arrange layer you want that turned on because there are sometimes you are trying to arrange text in between two video clip or a music clip you're unable to do that because you keep getting error you want to turn this on once this is turned on it remains turned on okay and you don't want to delete that the other one which i would like to touch on is the frame rate so this frame rate is set at 30 frame per seconds 30 fps per second you might want to leave it there but i will encourage you to always leave it at 24 frame but if you're creating video for youtube like i am you want to set it to 30 frame if you're creating a cinematic video then make sure it's on 24 frame the other setting i want you to turn on in this section is sound for editing you want to get a notification as soon as the export is done why do i say you want to get a notification sound is because there yeah, sometimes you've not gotten the sound and you close it not knowing you've not rendered your video completely and you have to start again you don't want to make that mistake right so you turn on notification sound so that anytime you're done editing your rendering your work you hear that sound you know you are done then the next tab we want to visit is the performance tab this will determine based on the kind of system you use currently as you can see encode you can speed encode all this i see i have it turned on because my system actually has a graphics card okay so all this is turned on the very important setting again i want you to turn on is prog z it says you see turns it on during edit to make your editing smooth it makes your editing super smooth when you turn that on so instead of using the full for instance maybe you have a file of 10 gig instead of using the full 10 gig it just gets you a lower version of that file and once you're done editing and doing everything it's going to use the bigger version to render so you want to turn that on it's very important to get hd from your record from your edits from your processed video you've done you want to set this to 1080p at its lowest you don't want to go lower than that 720p outdated 480p outdated you want to be on 1080p if you have 4k set it to 4k if your internet connections allows you to do that and the other one i would look at is for proxy side after a while you have files like this you can delete that also once you're done working with the proxy file but if you know you're still going to be working with the proxy file then you need to turn that on and don't delete that until you're completely done and once you're done you hit save but is that all no i want to show you one more important setting so let's go to this screen and i'll show you one more thing you can do okay it says cannot update project so I can't. okay so we are back so this was a project i was working on in the past and there's one more setting i want to show you here and once i show you this setting you are good to go and from now on you'll be able to edit smoothly using CapCut pc and you'll save yourself a lot of time and efforts working with CapCut. so for this one this is the video clip for instance it's called a playback lag you can hit play 
and it's going to lag it's going to take time it's going to see those you're going to see you can see there's a bit of lag as you can see how do we get that out of the way it's very simple to get as you can see it's giving the performance reminder don't remind me because i already set all other settings so how do i get rid of this particular one this lag you see all you need to do is to click on the timeline as you can see so you have the timeline clicked on like that next you want to come to these three dots you see on the top you click on those three dots and you want to go to preview where it says preview you don't need best quality to preview you only need best quality when you are rendering and when you are exporting your final work so hit best performance so once you hit best performance now if we go back to the beginning of this clip you are going to see it's going to move smoothly let's play that so you see it's moving smoothly now it's better that's all you need to do now the next step is to close CapCut pc and restart it thanks for watching i will see you on the next one stay blessed welcome back in this very lecture i'm excited because it has been a long road getting this course out there it's super long it took a lot of efforts to get it done but my channel is there for you to follow suit if you want more like this so in this lecture i'm just going to show you how to export videos and also how to export audio only if that's what you want you want to export only the audio from a clip i'm going to be showing you how to do that and i won't waste your time so what do we do let's start with the audio so we click on export as we did here you want to set the name you want it you want to make sure you're working with a good resolution bit rate color codec format mp3 usually this is one of the best settings you get out there and for audio if this is for video if you want to up export video this is where you want it to be ticked but if you don't want that and you just want to up export just the audio as you can see it's changed once i click on that it changed to mp3 so if i export it now i'm going to have only the audio from this clip you can try it for yourself now as you watch and you can see how easy it is but if we want the video it's going to come with everything the sound the cover remember we, there, there was a video i made showing you how to make thumbnail with cap cut pc make sure you watch that if you know what that that's why we have this i can untick it if i don't want it to download the cover but i want it to download the cover i'll just leave it at video and then i hit export and it's going to export the video same thing with audio if you just want only audio just click on only audio and hit the export button once you do that it's going to export only the audio and you have the audio without the video but if you want the video with audio then you click on this hope this video was helpful thank you so much for staying to the end you guys are my lawyer fans and i wish to know you guys personally let me know down in the comments and i will communicate with you stay blessed have a lovely day